Okay. So what we'll do here is uh, we'll go for a quick introduction, uh, Shamo. Um, yes, you can go ahead and let everyone introduce yourself. And yes. Where you're from. I'm listening. Sure, sure. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, who starts first? I think it's better you call the name and, you know. All right. All right. So, okay. the Brown team. Let the Pierce's do, yeah. The Brown team, everyone in the Brown team, please unmute yourself. Good morning. And once you unmute yourself, each of you guys take turns um, introducing yourself. Starting with Jennifer. My name is Jennifer Ingram. I'm on the Brown team. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Did you dial for any campaign? Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, did, did you dial for any of the campaigns? Yeah, you're a fresher or inexperienced? I'm, just, I'm new. Okay, okay. Okay, great. So yeah, just uh, t tell your experience and a name and a team, that's all. I will not go for an interview kind of will not go for that. Okay. Tamara Reed. I dial from the Brown campaign. Great, the star performer. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's see. We have uh, quite a lot of people now to challenge you. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay, great, great, Tamara. Hi, my name is Chanel Clark, and I am with the Brown team. Also, I'm new. Great. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Maria Spalding. I'm with the Brown team. She's new as well. Okay. And um, Andre, this is his first time. Okay. Andre. Andre is there. No. Andre. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. I'm here. Um, my name is Andre. I'm having some internet problems here. Sorry about that. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right. So that's it for the Brown team. Um, I think that's it for us. So everyone can go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, we uh from uh. My end, I believe I have only one, Nimisha Borwa. Nimisha, please. Uh, good morning, Nimisha here. Uh, I'm also a fresher out here. I am from Jairi's team. All right, great. Jose? Jose? Hello, love. Can you... Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. JD. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'm with um, Jose's campaign, and um, I'm also new here. Mm -hmm. All right. So that I'm uh, um, the next person. Okay. Next. Jose, call out the name. Uh, you call out the name, Jose. Yeah. Christian, okay, Christian is being there, okay. Mm, I believe he has an internet issue, bandwidth issue. Next is Philippe. Mm -hmm. Hello, good okay. morning everyone. Um, my name is Felicrian Pipito and I'm from Jose's team and I'm also new here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That is Honey. Honey. 
Uh, she first needs to unmute herself hi. and then me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, hi. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Hani, and yeah, I'm from Hussein's team. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Um, Irish. Hi, my name is Irish, and I am from Jose's team. Any fresher? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Genevieve. Hi. Good morning. This is Genevieve Bitwalia from Jose's team, and this is my first time as well. Okay. Welcome. Okay. All right. So all those are for my from my team. Okay, great. Mark okay, one. Start with Mark two. Mark two. Okay, Mark two. Hi, this is Mark uh, from Mark two. Uh, I have experience with warranty and three years in telecom. Okay. Mark, please identify your call names of your agents. Okay. Um, Isha, introduce yourself. Uh, ask her to unmute first. Yeah, you need first unmute yourself, then speak, and then mute again. Can you hear? Uh, that's the reason I wanted everyone, you know, uh, to use his name on, uh, you know, to be on the first, and then their name, so that I can unmute you. They are not able to. So I Mark two. Yeah. There's some problem with uh, her. Um, uh, like, what, what's her name? Um, Isha. 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 Mark two. Isha. I don't see. I think she had unmuted the uh, mic, but there might be some problem with her mic. But I don't see her in the list. She is here, Mark 2 slash I S H. Yeah. Fine, we can go to the next. We can come back to her later on. Yeah, next, please. Okay. Um, Jean? Mark 2, Jean. Yeah, hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, good morning. My name is Jean. This is actually my first time, but I work in a BPL center for 10 years. Okay. That makes you experience. So I'm not asking. I'm not asking about uh, digital experience. I'm asking about your personal experience. So you know, yeah. Oh, uh, this is actually my first time. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Next. Um, uh, Miguel. Hello, I'm Miguel from Mark Two's team, and I'm new with this campaign as well. Okay. Yeah. Now, when I say if you are fresher, which means that uh, you have never worked with the uh, with BPO industry, you know, or, or call centers, it's not that I'm asking whether you have worked with Digitech. And what I'm asking is, uh, are you experienced uh, in call center, uh, you know, voice campaigns? It may be any other campaign, not necessarily be Digitech. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next, please. Kenneth. Kenneth. No audio issues, I believe, because uh, I think uh, yeah. we have some problem yeah. with the audio. Okay, let's see. Um, that's Who's all next? on my team. Okay, Mark one. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, um, hi. Okay, uh, I will start with um, Sam and um. After Sam, please continue, and please um, introduce yourself and your experience, please. Okay, uh, hello, thanks. hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, hi, good, good morning. morning. My uh, my name is Sam, and all the gentlemen you can call me Sam, and all the ladies you can call me anytime. And this is uh, from Mark One team, and I uh, was a. I do have experience in different campaign in solar and solar and Medicare. Mm -hmm. All right, good, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, um, Albert, please. Hi, good morning. I'm Albert, and I'm from uh, Mark One's team. 
uh, with, with, with regards to experience, I had I've have uh, handled different uh, call center jobs before. I started uh, working in the call center like 2000, uh, 2010 mm -hmm. and handled different accounts like real estate, lead generation, uh, mm -hmm. outbound and inbound calls, to name a few, mm -hmm. like um, uh, commerce lending, like lending money uh, to uh, mm -hmm. small businesses, and um, just to name a few. Great. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Edmalin, please. Hi, my name is Edmalin, and I'm on March 1, 2. I work as the customer service representative for three years. I also work several companies, like solar, student loans, before. Okay, next. Um, Jane Burley, please. Jane, please unmute. Jane Burley. Hi, this is Jane Burley from Mark Team. I don't have a BPO experience, but I do have an experience in customer service and sales. Okay, and um, Michael. Michael. Hi, uh, my name is Michael Joe. Everyone can call me MJ. I have experience experience with telco and auto warranty campaigns. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And Kyle Desery. Ah, uh, wait. Um, I think I'll have issue. Um, let me skip you first. Ah, uh, how about Geraldine? Hi, yes. Good morning. My name is Geraldine. I am in Mark's team. I was previously working as a virtual assistant for a healthcare account in waiting room solutions and as well in BPO industries. Thank you. Thank you, Geraldine. Um, Ambel? Hi, my name is Ambel, and you can call me Bella. This is my first time for this kind of campaign. I'm from Mark's team. Uh, thank you. And Kashmir? Hi, guys. Good morning. My name is Kashmir. You can call me Cash. I've been with the BPO in industry for four and a half years. I've handled sales, customer service, billing for credit cards, and technical support. But this is my first time handling this kind of campaign. <laughs> thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Um, Janji. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is John Jay. You can call me John. I've been uh, with the BPO industry for almost three years now, and I've handled uh, various accounts like uh, telco accounts, AT&T, and uh, online shopping. I'm a customer service representative. I also do like a um, technical support representative and back-end team, like an email support. Thank you. Thank you, John. And um, Leia. Leia Polosco. Hi, hello, good morning, everyone. I'm Leia Monique Polosco under Mark One Team. So um, I already have experience handling voice accounts, particularly healthcare accounts. And but um, on digital payments, it's my first time handling it. Thank you. I think that's it, sir. Already, um, it's done. All right, then, everyone, are you guys ready? Um, so for me, um, no. Yes. Can you can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Okay. Yes. So for for me, um, I don't want to be the the bearer of bad news with any one name, so. <laughs> I'm going to be calling on Mark <laughs> to help me out in that area. 
if that's okay with you guys. So, <clears throat> does everyone have the secretary script in front of them? Uh huh. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Mark, you want to start first? Who do you want to pull in the group first? Mark? Uh, me? Mark 1, sorry. Yes, sorry. Oh, is it Mark 1 or Mark 2? Uh, this is Mark 1. Um, okay, Mark yeah, 1. You wanna... <laughs> okay, um, my apologies. Um, Mark 1, you want to go ahead and pull someone from your group? Just no, anyone from your group? <clears throat> on my team, right? Anyone on my team, sorry? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, I will put... Albert. All right, and from mine, I'm going to be pulling Tamara. So I'll be having Tamara as my secretary. And Albert, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, heard. I can hear you. Okay, good. So Albert, um, you, you're you going to be calling the secretary um, using the secretary script. And um, I will give you, like, you, you can take what question she asks. I'll let you know where to read and give her a little bit more hit. Does that make sense? Yeah. And because um, as you could see, all of them is numbered. So you, all you have to do is follow follow the line and the numbers. Um, for everyone, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't get that. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? As you can see, what everyone number? they have number next to them from one to ten. Do you see numbers next to, to your on your script? Uh, we're using the secretary uh, the secretarial screen call, right? Yes. yes. That's it. Okay. E, um, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yes. Numbers one to ten. Okay. Perfect. So here's how it's gonna go. Um, normally we would play a little video to to get things rolling a little bit, but because we're starting so late, I just want to get into it real quick. So um, I'm gonna have Tamar be the secretary for us, and um, you, on the other hand, is gonna be the agent. So whenever you're ready, you're gonna say a ring, ring. She's gonna pick up, and you're gonna mm -hmm. start with um, you know, give and take what she says. If she say good afternoon or good morning, you're gonna start with number one, and asking for okay. the person who responds for the Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes, sure. Okay, I'm um, ready. Tamara, Tamara, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, are we going to start? Yes, yeah, whenever you're ready, just say ring ring. Can everyone else um, follow along the script so we don't have to do this over and over? Thank All you right, guys. okay. Ring ring. Tamara's and Associates, good afternoon. Hi, Tamara, good morning. This is Albert. And okay, Albert. I need to... mm -hmm. um, all right, Albert, uh, I need you to start off from the top. So. She said, good afternoon. You need to say, good afternoon. I need to speak with a person who's responsible for your merchant account and who will that be? And wait for her to respond to you. And if she asks you who you are, you give her your name. I mean, she's a secretary. The whole point is to pass her to go to the decision maker. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. okay I, thought she, I thought I heard she said good morning. That's why I said, that's why I went to number no, one. She said, good afternoon. She said, oh, okay, okay. said, good afternoon. So you need to listen carefully to what she said because... You're just, if right. you don't listen to what the secretary said, they're going to hang up on you. They're going to get okay. upset. And you don't want mm -hmm. them to get upset. <laughs> uh, all right. I got it. Ring, ring. Tamara's and Associates, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Tamara. I need to speak to uh, uh, the name of the, okay, the, uh, uh, to the person that's uh, in charge of, um, the merchant account and who could that be? May I ask who is calling? This is Albert from uh, Digitech Payments. Okay, so hold on real quick, Albert. Um, listen, listen mm. to how I do it. Um, Tamara, go ahead and be the secretary. Ring, ring. Tamara is an associate. Good morning. Good morning. I need to speak to the person who's responsible for your merchant account and who will that be? May I ask who is calling? Certainly. This is Mike. 
And your name is? Tamara. Okay. Which okay, company I'll, are you with? I'm with Digitech Payment. Um, I'll wait while you direct my call. What is this call all about? Why are I'm you calling? I'm calling about your merchant account. I'm updating some information. I need some verification. Are you, in, are you the one who's in charge for the merchant account? No, I'm not. Okay, Please I'll wait while you direct my call. Please hold. Thank you. So, guys, you see, the thing is that I wasn't rude to her. I wasn't disrespectful to her in any way, shape, and form. You know I, mean? I know it's in our DNA to be nice to people as much as possible. But at the end of the day, we are just trying to break the secondary. Because here's, here's, here's what you guys need to remember. A secondary job is not to let a salesperson through. If they think for a minute that you're a salesperson, they will not let you through, okay? So you need to... You know I mean, beyond them about everything. So, are you ready again to take it from top, Albert? All right, let's try. Okay. Ring, ring. Tamara's and Associates, good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, I need to speak to uh, the person responsible for uh, the merchant account, and uh, who would that be? May Hacks is calling. Certainly, this is Albert, uh, and your name is? I'm Tamara. Which company are you with? I'm with uh, Digitech Payments, uh, Tamara, I'm and... Uh, okay, is uh, the person in charge with uh, a merchant account available? Which company you say you were with? <laughs> I'm with Digitech Payments, ma'am. And what is this call in regards to? We are calling about your merchant account and who would I need to speak with regarding this? Please let me check to see if he's available. One moment, please. Thank you very much. I'll wait for you. Um, you didn't ask her for the name. You didn't try to verify the name with her. So that's a good tip to have. Mm -hmm. That way, when, when you start to adjust the decision maker, you know how to respond to them. Um, do, do you have the decision maker script in front of you right now? Decision makers, uh, okay. Do you have it? Uh, uh, which one is that? Uh, okay, I, so I, th I, I got four scripts here. What is the secretary, uh, secretarial screen call, call back, initial uh, secretary, Digitech merchant script, That's the one. and then the Digitech rebuttals. Oh, uh, you want a Digitech merchant script. Um, did any of you guys here was able to study your rebuttals? Can I ask questions that you know you're gonna be pulling from the rebuttals for? Um oh, okay. I, I have it in front of me but I haven't the chance to review it because it was just sent uh later on this evening. <laughs> okay, I understand. So, well, your homework, you know, all of you guys' homework is going to be to study those rebuttals because these people, like, you know, Tamara here, um, she's been mm -hmm. one of the oldest agents on this campaign. And I'm not talking about age, I'm talking about the longest agent been doing this campaign. Um, and she could tell you, you know I mean, she, for her, she don't take no for an answer, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. So, in other words, she, she studied her rebuttals. Even the other day I was on the phone with her and... Um, she was still studying her rebuttals, just trying to develop that more so she can be better at this. So my best bet is never stop studying the rebuttal. I mean, let it become a yeah. second nature of life, if that makes sense. So that way you can go flow through it a lot smoother, a lot faster. Like, for example, a few secretaries will ask you this question just to know exactly where they need to send you. Um, what is a merchant account? Because a lot of secretaries don't even know what a merchant account is. Um, <clears throat> do you know what a merchant account is? Uh, I actually have heard heard about that when I was actually handling an account with the commerce lending and um, um, wait, government grants before my first campaign, but I really don't have enough idea about that, uh, the merchant account. Okay. All right. No worries. So <clears throat> a merchant account, guys, everyone, a merchant account is a type of account that accept credit card or debit card payment, mm -hmm. either online or in person. Now, you don't have to use the term online or in person, you just can explain to them it's a type of account, you know I mean, that accept credit card or debit card. 
So Digitech payment, you know what Digitech payment is? Um, not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Digitech payment is, it's a merchant broker. They are a merchant broker. Okay. So okay. Um, they, they are located and you know, all these stuff are in the rebuttals just to make you stronger and better because people ask questions like these. And um, <clears throat> Digitech payment is located in Montreal, um, Quebec, Canada. So they've been around for over 26 years. They are a very powerful company. You know I mean, um, they've been around for a, quite a while. You'd be surprised to see how many businesses actually have Digitech here in America and there in Canada. So, you know I mean, they are a very powerful merchant account broker. So um, <clears throat> you want to go ahead and dig into that decision maker script. And I'm going to be your decision maker and starting out. I'm going to be nice with you, and then after that, I'm going to let you start from the top again, and then you're going to get a real customer, okay? <laughs> okay, let's try. I'm going, to see, I'm going to see how much you're paying attention to what I just explained to you, everything that I just All explained right. to you. I'm going to be asking you these in questions. Does that make sense to you? So we're going with the rebuttals, right? Excuse me? Uh, we're going to use the rebuttal script. Not right now, because if we try okay. to use rebuttal script, guys, um, uh, we're, we're, which country are you in to be exact right now? I'm in the Philippines. You're in the Philippines. So right now it's what? Um, it's 9.15 p.m. Right? Excuse me? Yeah, uh, you're, you're, you're asking about the time? Yeah, it's like what, 10 o'clock? You know, 9.58, somewhere there? Yes, yeah, two minutes to 10 o'clock. Right, two minutes to 10, right. And uh, for my other... Um, f friends and family. I like to say family. That's um from India. They mm -hmm. for them it's give and take. It's about seven thirty eight. So, <clears throat> um, my plan is two simple things. One, to get you guys for the secretary um screening today, decision maker today. Have you guys mm -hmm. studied that rebuttal? And if and if you guys want to, you can always come back to me, and I will um, you know, I mean, strengthen you for that, re you, so you can use that rebuttal. But I need everyone to study the rebuttal. If I try to use a rebuttal one step at a time with everyone, we're going to be here till next week trying to get everyone through. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Okay. So let's start with the decision maker script. And um, <clears throat> the person you're going to be talking to is Mr. Brown, myself. I'm going to be the decision maker. So I need you to talk to me like a normal person and don't sound like you're reading from a script. Does that make sense to you? Um, uh, okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really a, a bit confused here. Uh, not really confused, but I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> okay. okay. Just, so just like we're going deep, to right? use the... Okay. All right. Um, okay. So we're going to use the Digitech Payment Secretarial Screen uh, script, right? Correct. Just to be clear. Okay. But you are, you're going to be the decision maker. I'm speaking Correct. to the decision maker now, not the secretary, right? Correct. Okay, I got it. All right, so let's do it. Go ahead ring, for Mr. Ring. Brown. Oh, I'm sorry. Tamara, go ahead for Mr. Brown. I'm connecting you right now. Oh, thank you, Tamara. So You're welcome. Hello, this is Mr. Brown. How can I help you? Uh... All right, I'm lost. Okay. The decision uh, maker script. I'm the decision maker. Remember, I, you just I don't, the, the Digitech Payments Merchant Lead transfer, transfer script, right? Yes. So, okay, no, I got it. No, no. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, for me, mine, I, I relisted mine. Um, I don't know how you guys receive yours, but for mine, mine is relisted as um, decision maker. I don't have would, that. I, I'm sorry, that we don't have that. that. That would be the script after the callback script. Yes, that would be the one after the call. So you should have four scripts. You should have one that say secretary screening, um, one that say rebuttal, and one that say callback. And I don't know what the other one say for you, but for mine. But that would be the other one. Correct. So what Which, does yours say? Okay. Uh, uh, what I have here is the digital payment secretary screen, which we used, oh, Tamara. Yeah. And then the yeah, second one okay. is uh, the rebuttals. Not that which one. says I'm busy, and then the next one that I have here is Digitech Payments Merchant Lead Transfer Script, which is hello. This is yes. Albert. That's yes. the one. That's the one. That's, That's the one, one I'm asking you earlier. Actually, yes. That's, okay. So this yes. is it. All right. 
uh, it doesn't so, say actually that it's uh, the the uh, decision maker script, correct? Decision maker um, script. No. Yeah, I think I think I receive it exactly the same from the lady who. Um, it says here this Digitech thing is virtually general uh, 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 general transfer script. Yeah, I rename mine. It's okay. I, I rename mm -hmm. I rename mine. So, you know, you guys can rename yours just to make it easier for you guys. You know I mean? Okay, I'll do that later on. Okay, so we yes, can go ahead. I, and the call. I personally rename mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Down. Here's how it goes. Um, I'm gonna answer, and then after I answer, you need to. I mean, stick with the script. The other thing you need to do is make sure you overpower me. In in, I'm not trying. You're not gonna be trying to overpower me, as in trying to force me or push me. But don't leave gap. Don't leave that three second gap in between, because if you do, the customer is gonna ask you a lot of questions. And if and if I'm starting asking you questions, you don't have answers for them. You're gonna be stuck with me for a little bit, and the call is gonna go end. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try. All right. Let's go. Um. Hello. This is Mr. Brown. How can I help you? Hi, Mr. Brown. Good morning. This is Albert with Digitech Payments. My company requested uh, that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call, sir. Keep going. Okay, so uh, I'm calling. Due to the global uh, situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal to determine exactly how much we can save you. I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind, sir. Sure. Just to confirm, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, who are you currently processing with? Monaries, uh, um, uh, Chase, Toronto, no, Dominion? Nope, nope, mm -hmm. nope, nope. Stop right there. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I don't even know why that is in the script. That needs to be deleted. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so a merchant a merchant um, broker can be any bank. It's okay. Uh, any bank. I don't know what bank you really have there in the Philippines. I've never been there. Oh, okay. Um, to be there, but um, I don't know what bank you guys have there. What local bank you have there? So mm -hmm. it can be any banks. So you probably start listing out those banks, and they're like, no. So you just wanna just ask a question and stop. Wait for their answers. Um, for example, I'm going to say, I wish not to give you that information. What's your okay. response then? Um, you're, you're not going to give you the information, right? Correct. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I wish not to give you that information. Uh, okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. I appreciate you letting me know that, uh, and due to uh, the recent uh, reduction of rates, I'm sure you've been getting a lot of calls about your processing in general. We're not looking to have you uh, do anything today. However, if you, if one of our rate specialists can show you savings of 25 to 40 percent of your monthly bill, that would be something you would at least take a look at, right? Um. I thought you were the one who called to help me with my merchant account. Are you saying I need to speak with a rate specialist? Uh, yes. Um, actually, okay, we have... Cool. Um, okay. All right. Go ahead and, and connect me to the rate specialist. Oh, sure. Just one moment, sir. Okay. Okay. Connecting you so, to the rate specialist. So just so you know, that's a fail. That fail. You fail. You have four questions. You only asked two. Um, that rebuttal wasn't called for. You didn't need it. So this is a total fail transfer right here. You didn't need okay. that rebuttal. So for example, <clears throat> if I said I wish not to give you that information about my bank. Okay. It's not really a problem. Okay. Because a lot of people don't really feel comfy saying, oh, I, uh, my merchant bank would be um, <clears throat> Digitech. So a lot of people don't even want to give that information. A few people will. A few people won't. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. In that way, when you get customers like that, you don't need to be pulling their teeth. <laughs> like, give it okay. to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A few, yeah, you don't need to do that. So it's best for you not to you know, try to use a rebuttal right there. Just go over to the next question. Just say, I understand that. You move over to the next question. Ask the next, the next question. Let them give you... Okay. Uh, okay, one question. 
All right. If they say that, the, uh, okay, if uh, the uh, the decision maker won't give any information about his um, merchant account, then I'll just go ahead with the number with, with number three. Like yes. when they send your statement, do do they send it to you online or through the uh, through the mail? Would Both. I go over on that question? Both. Yes. You just move Both. on to number next three, and number four. Both. Yes, but both. Uh, so I know, okay. no, I'm reading, no, I'm telling you, they send me the statement, you know, online and, and um, through the mail. So both ways, I receive it both ways. I ask the next question. So with that, I, uh, so with that I can um, add more information in your hands. What is your email, please? Um, I don't remember my email. I can go look for it for you. Is that okay with you? It's probably going to take a minute or two. I'm sure. Okay, so here, here's what you need to also keep in mind. So you guys are, are fairly new. So you guys, um, so here's how it works, guys. So whenever you transfer them over to the right specialist, mm -hmm. their job is literally to get whatever you didn't give to, give to them, if that makes sense to you. So, for example, <clears throat> if a person needs to look for an email, <laughs> you find out what their email is, that's a, a big, like, okay, cool. <laughs> but um, I would say just go ahead and say, you know, Okay, um, and then try to explain to them that you're going to connect them to one of your rate specialists and let the rate specialist take it from there. That way, the rate specialist can wait for that email. You can go on making oh, calls. Okay, okay, okay. So you can okay, go so on doing more transfers, making more calls, making more money. You don't have to sit there for the rest of the day just you know, waiting for Think that for one email. The email for the information. Correct, Correct. Mm -hmm. because the rate specialist's job, you know, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. So here's how it works. When you transfer them over, this is exactly what the right specialist say. So, <clears throat> Albert, so mm -hmm. you are indeed the one who looks after the merchant account for the business. And Albert is like, you're going to be like, uh, I just said that to your friend. Yes. And, you know, and then he's like, so when they send you a statement, how do you receive it? They're basically asking the same four questions. Again. It's not a joke. Mm -hmm. Again. And then your job is going to be like, okay, all right. So you're going to give them the right bank at this point. You're going to be the one. You know I mean, you're going to give them the bank. So even though I didn't tell you what bank I was banking with, at this point, I'm going to be like, oh, it's Chase. And they're like, okay. And then after that, I'm going to be like, um, when they send you a statement, how do you receive it? Online or through the mail? You know, um, <clears throat> online or through the mail, you know, whatever, both. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> so I can have some more information in your hands. What is your email? These are the four questions they're literally going to be asking them mm -hmm. again. They're going to give okay. them that information. Once they give it to them, they're going to say, what is the best callback number for you? Okay, this is the best callback number for you. So, however, here's what we, we're going to be able to do for you. And you know, their job is literally to set up another callback, which I think is silly. You know what I mean, because their job is to set up, because I listen to them. Tamara here done so much transfer where at this point, I, I literally can read the guy script for script. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Words for words that he talked to those people about, okay? Um, I think I know his script that well at this point. So it's very simple that you just sit there. You know, he, he just basically going over the same four questions with the person. The only thing is that he don't reintroduce himself like, you know, this, with Digitech payment. He doesn't do that because you already did all that work for him. But he asked the same four questions. He gathered the four answers. And then he explained to him, you know, when is the best time to contact you? This and this time, okay, we, um, most likely probably after that, he's going to be like, so we're going to have one of our rate specialists be contacting in a few days. This, this day work for you, that day work for you. Yes, and um, <clears throat> we would like you to have one of your statement so we can walk you through and show you where you've been overcharged and all that stuff. So these are what he's explaining to the guy on the other line. So in other words, guys, if the person do not want to give you any of those three, you know, the first one is very important, number one. What, mm -hmm. what, um, and their job title, you know, if they're the owner, that's a, that's a good one. You need to try to figure out if they're the owner. Um, if the name of the company is not in the box where it said the name of the company, try to find out from the secretary what's the name of the company too. Those are a good one. The secretary, um, <clears throat> some of the secretary will try to cut you off because they're going to be like, I think you're calling for the wrong person if you don't know her company name. Yeah, you know I mean, but it's good to, or, you know, even when you're trying to, um, connect the person over. To the rate specialist, try to find out from them what's the name of the company so you can tell the rate specialist what the name of the company is. So <clears throat> those are, are very keen stuff to know. Um, the name of the company is for your benefit. You know, it's, it's best for you. 
you know, for you to know that. Um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, the telephone number, those are stuff that the rate specialist can, if you, so if you give, once you connect to the rate specialist, if you can give them the phone number, the email address, all that information, that makes everyone life easy. So it's really good to have their phone number to give to them. It's good to have their email. It's good to have everything to give to them. It makes their life easy because that way they ask less questions and they move on to the rest of the day. And you know I mean, but it, it's good for you to keep in mind, keep in mind um, <coughs> simple steps. Like it's a punchline that's count, if that makes sense to you. Like for example, the easy, you use an easy close on me earlier for the rebuttal, correct? Uh -huh. Right. So I would have used that easy close after I said, thanks for all that information. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who have the ability to eliminate up to 40% off your fee. Now, um, once I say that to them and they said, they're busy. Can we do this later? Can you call back? Stuff like that. And I would say, I, I understand and jump right into that easy close and, and feed them a little bit more like that. And then at this point, you're probably going to, reel them in a little bit as tomorrow would like to say i just reel that person like a fish but <laughs> that's off here though guys that's off here <laughs> but um that's how you do it you know you drop the easy clothes you pull me back in you get my attention and i'll be like okay cool and easy clothes is something you're going to be using 15 16 times for the day so that's that's one thing i would say study really good master the easy clothes um before I used to say, try to make the script personalize the script as much as yours so you can sound more like you. But now I'm actually saying, I don't want, you know, don't go too far from the script because if you go too far from the script, the peep, the person are not going to un understand what you're saying. <coughs> and they're going to ask you a lot of questions that you don't have answers for that that's not in the rebuttal. So you need to stick with the script as much as possible, as close to the script as possible. I know a lot of people say a lot of words different so it's easier for them to change those words and put different words there to make it easier for them so if you have to change a one or two or three words go ahead and do so but try to change the entire script up it doesn't really work mm -hmm. you're gonna have more difficult so let's start from the top one more time and and run it down so whatever answer i don't give you <coughs> sorry whatever answer i don't give you from your four questions just say i understand and move on there's no need for you to be there, you know, digging for that, digging, digging, because if you keep digging, they're going to get off the phone with you. They're going to say, I'm not interested anymore, and get off the phone with you. Mm -hmm. So I would, don't dig too deep, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're like a little spade just, you know, flowing on top of the dirt. So just try to flow as thin as possible and move on. So you ready to start from the top again? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So you're you're uh, the merchant. I mean, you're the decision maker, right? Yes, correct. So go ahead and introduce okay, yourself. Right. All right. Hello, this is Albert with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call, sir. You're welcome. Uh, due go to the global yes. situation. Okay. Uh, hold on. I, I'm I'm a little bit uh, uh, hesitant on this. So after introducing myself, I need to go to the purpose of the call immediately, right? Yes, but here's, yes, that's, yes. So here's the thing. I have a thing called a three-second rule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do not give them that three-second rule. Try to keep it okay. under two seconds, okay? Because, you know, it takes a person three seconds to decide your mind. One, two, three. Nope. So <laughs> you, mm -hmm. you need to okay. break that. So whenever you said, I appreciate you taking my call, due to the global situation, so you don't really give them that too much break in between. You just, I appreciate you taking uh -huh. my call, okay? Due to the global situation, okay. keep moving on. Because if you stop for too long to wait for their answers, they're going to be like, I'm not interested. They don't even have, have any idea what you're about to say to them. I'm not interested. But once you get yeah. to that 25 to 40%, you're like, oh, really? Money? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and start from top. Hello, this is uh, Albert with Digitec Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call, sir. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. Now, to determine exactly how much we uh, can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions if you don't mind. Okay. 
Thank you very much, sir. So just to confirm, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant accounts for the business, right? Yes. Okay. Now, who are currently processing? Uh, uh, who are you currently processing with? I think that would be um, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Okay. When uh, when they send you uh, when they send you your statement, do they send it to your online or uh, through uh, the mail? I receive my statement online. Thank you very much, sir. So that's online. All right. So, um, so that I can add more information in your hands. What is your email, please? I'm not 100% sure. I can go check real quick. Is that okay, okay. with you? No. Oh. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, you can do that. But uh, I would like to transfer you. Uh, thank you for sharing that information with me. But I would like to uh, connect you to one of our rate specialists now who has the ability to eliminate 40% off your rates and fees. And uh, he will be the one to take care of your email. Would that be all right with you? Perfect. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yes, that would be all right with me. All right. That's Thank you. That's pretty good right now. I see you're a quick learner. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Um, yes, so you see... That was great. Yeah, there was no need for you to wait and run for my email. Let the right specialist pick it up. So good job. That's a pretty good one right there. All right, who's next? Uh, me, sir. I will um, choose... Um, I will try... Um, Kashmir. Kashmir. Yes, hi. Hey, Kashmir, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? <laughs> um, I have the flu. It's not coronavirus. Don't get it twisted. I know you guys can catch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kashmir, let's start from the secretary. Yeah, well, soon, yes. mm -hmm. And I have Tamara as my secretary still, okay? Oh, okay. Ring, ring. Browns and Associates, good morning. Hi, I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account, and who would that be? May I who is calling? Certainly, this is Kashmir, and your name is? I'm Tamara. Which company are you with, Kashmir? Yes, Tamara, I'm with Digitech Payments. You did so say is Kashmir, the person right? Yes, my name is Kashmir. What is this and I am all with, about? Yes, I'm with Digitech Payments. And if I may ask, is the person in charge for merchant account there with you? What, what are you calling about? What is this call in regards to? Yes, we're calling about your merchant account and who would I need to speak with regarding this? That would be Mr. Brown. Please hold while I check to see if he's available. Yes, thank you. Mr. Brown? Yes? I have a caller in line, Kashmir with Digitech Payments. Can you take a call? Sure. Hello? Hi, Mr. Brown. This is Kashmir with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally, and I, I really appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. To determine exactly how much we can save you, Mr. Brown, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Okay, go ahead. Just to confirm, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business, right? Yes. All right, so who are you currently processing with? I wish not to give you that information. Okay, not a problem. When they send you your statement, do they send it to you online or through the email or through the mail? Good one. Okay. Um, I don't remember. Uh, maybe it's online. I'm not sure. I can check for you, though. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry. So, Dad, I can add more information in your hands. What is your email address? It's brown at gmail.com. 
brown at gmail.com. Thank you for sharing this information with me, Mr. Brown. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rates and fees. So would that be all right with you? Um, can you say that again? I didn't, I didn't hear what you just said. All right, so I just told you that I will be connecting you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rates and fees. So would that okay. be all right? Not really. I'm a bit busy. Is it possible for you to call me back later? All right. I'll just take note of your phone number. Well, <clears throat> so for me, I would try the easy close because... 95% of the time, if you call them back, you're not going to get a hold of them. So try to easy close on me and see if I, if I you know, fall for it. Um, especially because you already asked off for a question. Your work is done, correct? Yes. Yeah, your work is done. You just have less than, you know, 10 seconds with these people left on the phone. So at this point, I would try to easy close. If it doesn't work, then I would set up a call back. <laughs> but before I even okay. try to set up a call back, I'm trying to, you know, Take no for an answer, as Tamara would say, no for an answer. So she, uh, Tamara is the one who I, I mean, I saw it start doing this, and that's why I've been using it in my training too, because I realize it works. Um, okay, so I should have said. <laughs> I, I respect that. I should have, okay. So go ahead, it should say, right, your rebuttal, ease of close, should say that I respect that. Uh huh. Th is that what he said? I'm not sure, I'm not looking at it, so. I'm just asking you because it should say I respect that. Uh, do you have a rebuttal? Yes, it does. I respect yes, that. Yes, I'm looking. I'm just about to look at it. Okay. Yes, well, easy close. I respect that. We would like to provide you. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Details about. Go ahead. I respect that. We would like to provide you with more details about how you can use money in your current merchant services. We have very competitive rates. And we will offer you the lowest on the market without sacrificing the excellent services you are entitled to. I will just connect you with our specialist and they can answer all of your questions. Would that be all right with you? Yes. So that, that's, that's a pretty good one right there. So if, you, if at this point a person said, no, I'm busy, I'm really busy, then you just set up a callback at that point. So, okay, cool. And then the R2 work for you and set up a callback. Um, so that that's where, but you know, what I mean, I always try to say yes. you know, put the easy calls in there. <clears throat> the other thing yes, I would say, yes, it's a lot you, better. <laughs> yeah, that comes off a lot smoother, and most ninety-five percent of the time, the person I said, okay, sure. How long is it going to take anyway? You can let them know it's going to probably take about two minutes, give and take. You know I mean, um, the rates, you know, the more information mm -hmm. you get for the rates, the faster okay. the rates you're getting off the call with them. So yeah, two minutes, give and take. So, um, mm -hmm. I want you to do me a favor now. I want you to do the transfer. So, go ahead and do the transfer. So, now I want you to say, ring, ring. Tamara is going to be the red specialist. She's going to pick up. And I need you to give her all the information you, you gather on me. So, go ahead. <coughs> oh. Okay. I'll just go back to the script where yes. we were at. Yes. The decision okay. maker script, right? Correct. Correct. You need to be all right. going back and forth with both of them, okay? Real fast. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I'll just go to the transfer script directly. Correct. Yes. So, hello, this is Kashmir, and I have... No, no Kashmir. Mr. All, the way, all the way... Okay, go ahead. And Sorry, I have ahead. Mr. Brown on the line with contact number 12345678 and currently uses Wells... Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. He or she receives their statements via... Not he or, not he or she. Not he or oh, she. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> he receives... <laughs> he receives... <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry about that. He receives their okay. statements via online or mail and would like to save money in their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Well, well. You, you forgot to say one thing to her. You, should, you forgot to tell her um, yeah. that they didn't the provide... I did. I did provide you with an email. Yes, I provided not... with an email. Um, um, brown at gmail dot com. So I did provide yes. you with an email. So it would be good at this point to give it to Tamara the email. So that All way, right. our life is easier. Especially because um, I am busy. So you want to give Tamara all that information real quick. I mean, as fast okay. as possible. 
So you see the transfer section right here. This is where I find a lot of people. Um, you know, I'm not saying, I'm even talking about Tamar here. She's done more transfer than anyone can count. But, you know, I mean, even Tamar here, I realize um, a lot of people do have difficulty talking to the right specialists. Like, they can't really get as fast as possible to work it in and get out. Uh -huh. They even they even talk to the decision maker faster than they talk to the right specialist, which I'm like, guys, the right specialist is on our team, okay? okay? They're with us. All right. They're with us. Um, <clears throat> at this point, the right specialist know Tamara that good. As soon as she called, they're like, hey, Tamara, before she could introduce herself. So they already know who she is. And she just, you know, explained to them what the problem is. But for, you know, for everyone who else is coming, you have to be doing, you know, three to four transfer per day for them to yes. start knowing your name like that. <laughs> Does that make sense? So. Yes. Okay, so, um, <coughs> good job. Who's next? Thank you. Who want to go next? Jennifer? Jennifer? Hi. Hi. Can you be can you be my um agent? And Tamara, can you be my secretary as well? Certainly. Ring ring. Browns and Associates, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I would like to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account, and who would that be? May I have your name, please? Certainly. My name is Jennifer, and your name is? I'm Tamara. And Hello, Tamara. which company are you with, Jennifer? I'm with Digitech Payments. Is the person who's responsible for your merchant account in? What about the merchant account? What are you calling about? We are calling about your merchant account and we are updating our information and need to get some verification. I will wait while you transfer my call. Thank you. One moment, Jennifer. I'll check to see if Mr. Brown is available. Thank you so much. Go ahead for Mr. You're welcome. Go ahead for Mr. Brown, Jennifer. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Brown. My name is Jennifer, and I'm with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contract you personally, and I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we're currently reaching out to businesses to help reduce your rates by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help you put money back into your business when things get back to normal. To determine exactly how much we can save you, Mr. Brown, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Okay. All right. Just to confirm, you are indeed the person who looks after the merchant account for the business, correct? Yes. Great. Who are you currently processing with? TD. TD. Thank you so much. When they send you statements, do they send it online or through the mail? I don't receive any statement. So, okay. Thank you. You get it. Just so that I can add more information in your hands, what is your email? Brown at gmail.com. Brown at gmail.com. Thank you for sharing this information with me, Mr. Brown. I would like to connect you with one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Um, is it possible for them to, for you to, you know, you can get them to call me back later? or you know, email the stuff over to me or something. You have I my respect, email. Right? I respect that. Yes, indeed. I respect that, Mr. Brown. So would it be okay to call you back in about an hour? Okay, Jennifer, this is what we're talking about. Um, the easy clothes. Yes. I respect that, Mr. Brown. What are some of your concerns? Sorry, 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 sorry. I respect that. We would like to provide you with more details about how you can save money on your current merchant services. We have very competitive rates and we will offer you the lowest on the market without sacrificing the excellent services you're entitled to. If we, I would 
just connect you with our rate specialist and they can answer all your questions. Would that be all right with you? Sure. Thank you for that. Um, ring, ring for the rate specialist. Hello. Hello. Good morning. I have here online with me Mr. Brown, and he is. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hello, this is Jennifer, ID number two. I have Mr. Brown on the line with me. His contact number is one two three four five six seven eight nine, and currently uses the processor TD. He, he does not receive any statements. And his email is brown at gmail.com. He would like to save money on his merchant services. Can you take this from here, please? Certainly. So, Jennifer, you, so Jennifer you're a bit nervous. I realize that. Um, <clears throat> you need to take a deep breath. This is training, guys. You know, make mistakes here and that out there. Um, so just take a deep breath. It's a good job. Um, you need to work on your transfer, to transfer it over. You need to do work on that. You need to also work on your easy close and um, stick with the script as much as possible. So work on your easy close. So now I'm going to use Chanel. Chanel. Yes. <clears throat> Can you be the agent for me real quick and um tomorrow can you be my secretary sure ring ring tomorrow's and associates good evening good evening i need to speak with the person that is responsible for your merchant account and who would that be and who is this calling my name is Chanel, and I need to speak with the person that is responsible for your merchant account. Chanel, what is this call about? We're calling about your merchant account, and who would I need to speak with regarding this? Which company are you with? I'm with Digitech Payments. What is Digitech Payment? What do you do? We're a merchant service broker company, and I need to speak with the person that is responsible for your merchant account. I will wait while you direct my call. One moment while I check to see if he's available. Go ahead for Mr. Brown. Hello. Hello, Mr. Brown. This is Chanel with Digitech Payments, and my company requested that I contact you Excuse personally. Me. Who are you with? I'm with Digitech Payments. Who is Digitech Payments? We're a merchant service broker company. Oh, you're calling about my merchant. Okay, well, all right. What's up? Um, What are you selling? Well, Mr. Brown, you see, due to the global situation we're all facing, we are reaching out to businesses to help reduce their rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to merely just put money back into your business to use when things return to normal, which okay. they will. Okay, how are you going to be able to help me save 40% on my merchant account? Well, Mr. Brown, today I, I, would, I would like to just ask you a couple of quick questions and then connect you to a rate specialist who has the ability to eliminate your rate and fees by up to 40%. Stop. <clears throat> forget, about, forget about the rate specialist. This is not about the rate specialist. This is about you and the decision maker. You know, if, if you tell me about the rate specialist at this point, I'm leaving. I'm, not go I'm going. I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, I, I mean, I, we don't really have the time for that much. So you don't need to tell me what rate specialist. Just say to determine exactly why I can do that. I need to ask you just a couple questions and ask the questions. Mm -hmm. Ask the question. After you finish with the question, you let me know about the rate specialist. Let me, you know, because your job is done. That's, you always want to introduce a rate specialist after your job is done. If you introduce a rate specialist before your job is done, hey, we're not going to take you. Sorry. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're not gonna want to talk to you anymore. You know what I mean, um, it doesn't make sense. After that point, everyone is busy. I know right now. If I call Joe Deep up, Joe Deep, <coughs> Joe Deep, yeah, yes, I'm up. Tell me. Hey, how are you doing? If I at this point I was talking to you and I said, um, well, to determine exactly how I can do that for you, I just need to ask you a couple of quick questions. Would answer the questions, correct? 
Uh, I'm sorry, come again? Uh, you, you. <coughs> if I said, um, to determine exactly how, um, how mm -hmm. much we can save you, I need to ask you a couple of quick questions. Mm -hmm. quick question. Will that be okay with you? You, you would say yes, and, I, and, and let me answer, ask you the questions, correct? Right, right. But if at this point I said, I need to ask you a couple of quick, quick questions, then after that I'm going to transfer you to one of our rate specialists, what are you going to probably say? Go ahead and transfer you to the rate specialist, correct? Mm, right. It, uh, they will ignore the questions. They would like to speak to, directly to the, the rate specialist rather rate than special. you know, entertaining your question. Uh, your question. Correct. Yeah. Because you, you just let me know you're not the one who's making that decision. Yes. So I don't you, you, lose, you lose the authority of the call. Correct. So if, if, if you cannot, if you cannot, um, if you cannot help me at this point, then give me the person who can help me. And if you cannot give me the person who can help me, please get off the phone with me. We're not going to be here going back and forth. Does that make sense to you, Chanel? Yes. Okay, so let's start back from the top again. Introduce, reintroduce yourself. My name is? Hello, Mr. Brown. My name is Chanel, and I'm with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally, and I appreciate you for taking my call. So due to the global situation, we are reaching out to businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is Excuse to me. just merely... Excuse me. You say your name was Chanel, correct? Yes. Um, <clears throat> how are you going to help me to save money on my 40% on my merchant account? Okay, so Mr. Brown, to determine how much I can actually save you, I just need to ask you a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay, so you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for your business? Yes. Thank you for that information. Who are you currently processing with? I think it's Chase. Thank you for that information. And when they send you your statement, do they send it online or through the mail? Mail. Thank you. So that I can add more information on your hands, what is your email address? I don't remember. You still haven't told me exactly how you're going to save me at 40% on my merchant account. That's okay, Mr. Brown. Thank you so much for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you with one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Sure. Go ahead. Okay, please hold while I connect you. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, this is Chanel KSD2, and I have on the line with me Mr. Brown with phone number 12345. He currently uses the processor Chase, and he receives his... Sorry, and he receives his statements through the mail. He did not provide me with an email address, and he would like to save money on his rates and services. Could you take it from here? Okay, Chanel, why do you keep going down? Why don't you just stay with the flow all the way across the board? You, you keep going down. Um, so I want, you to, I want you to ring ring back the merchant account again, which is me, the, the rate specialist, and um, I want you to go on one level across the board. In other words, I don't want you to dim your voice, because if you dim your voice, I'm not going to be able to hear you. So I need you to keep it steady and go straight across the board. All right? All right. Your work is done. You know that, right? Your work is completely done at this point. I mean, you have the rate specialist on the phone. You have the decision maker on the phone. You just need to give the decision maker a few simple questions and out. You mean, a few simple answers and you're out. So you just, okay. at this point, you should be joy. You mean, my work is done. All right. So here, online, I have Mr. Brown. Um... <clears throat> Self, um, telephone number is such and such. You know I mean, he's currently using Chase. Um, he received a statement by mail. He didn't provide me with an email, but he would like to save money. He would like to save money on his merchant account. Can you take it from here? Certainly. Okay. Have a good day, Mr. Brown. Bam. Your call is done. Does that make sense to you? Yes. All right. You want to take it from top, right? Start. Just go ahead and take it. Say, Hello. This is. Chanel, introduce yourself. <coughs> Sorry, from the top of the decision maker? No, no, no. You're talking to the... Race <laughs> talking, specialist. Yes, you're talking to the race specialist. Okay. 
Hello, this is Chanel KSC2, and I have on the line with me Mr. Brown with contact number 12345 and currently uses the processor Chase. He receives his statement through the mail and he would like to save money on his merchant services. He did not provide me with an email address. Can you take it from here? Of course, certainly. Now, <clears throat> guys, for everyone who's new, Chanel is also new. She started yesterday and she already made five transfers. So it show you, you know what I mean? Um, if you guys stick with the script, it works. Okay, guys? Just so you all know. <clears throat> um, so, Chanel, yeah. Jennifer, and um, Tamara, you all have been excused. Have yourself a wonderful day, guys. I'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? All right. Thank you. Have a all good right, day, team. everybody. You guys have a good Bye. day. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. <clears throat> All right. Who's next? I'm sorry, guys. They, they, um, you know, all those three agents that you hear on the line, they are making their transfers done every day. They don't really need to be here. I just asked them to, you know, break the heights a little bit with you guys. Um, even the best of the best make mistake. As I said, Chanel, I trained her over the weekend. I set her free on Monday. And um, so far, she already made five transfer, a total of five transfer. <coughs> and she got started a bit later, too. So by the end of this week, she should be hitting close to about 15 to 20 transfer. So, you know what I mean? Stick with the script, guys. Stick with the script. That's basically all I can say at this point. Just keep sticking with the script. Um, who want to go? Who want to role play with me? Uh, Who was that? Okay. Um, <clears throat> Mark one, Mark two. Anyone okay. want to get someone from their group? I'll uh, go ahead, Mark two, if you want. Okay. Um, I also have another leader team leader um javier is it javier or jose jose is it jose 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 has left jose oh. uh yeah jose uh, central one actually left uh, i have love for him i mean on his behalf you see love it there all right go ahead jody call someone from their poc um because you want to get moving, you know what I mean? So let's, right. Yeah. right. Hey, guys, guys, listen, everyone, it's late at night. For you, it's early in the morning. For me, I just wake up, so I'm, I'm fresh. All right? I can do this all day. So if you guys want to go to bed, I would say rush over here right now. Hello? Hello. Yeah, no. See, you need to be ready with yeah, your yeah. agents, okay? You yeah, I'm going to pick one. Yes, so as soon as, uh, you know, yeah, you pick one now, he, he would uh, role play with uh, Shamal, then you should be ready with the second one. As soon as he says, you know, who's next, you should forward the person. All right. Your uh, agent, all right. Okay. Um, okay. Jody. Got it. Yeah. Are you busy? Mm, a bit of, because I'm here as well as I'm on, on Skype. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. That's why I want to know if you're busy. I was going to ask you to do me a favor. Okay, Jody, you can go yeah. ahead and yeah. um, Okay, shall we go now? No, I, I need someone shall we to do be it? Yes, I need someone okay. to be my secretary. All right, I'm going <laughs> to pick an agent. Okay, can you also volunteer to be the secretary for me? Yeah, please. Um, Christian, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Christian, please do. All right. Ring, ring. Um, how do you pronounce your name? Love, lovely. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I'll I'll have you know for the secretary. You know, are you yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, I want. Okay, okay. So that's what's gonna be my secretary. Okay. How do you pronounce your name? Um, Ion. No, Ino. You know. you know. It's Ino. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. forgive me, guys. I I already told you I'm bad with names, and I'm gonna be 
torturing a lot of you guys' names today. Okay, you know, so you're going to be my new secretary today, you know. I'm going to fire you, you know, if these people come through soft, okay? You need to make sure they do their work before you let them through. All right. I want to see who's paying attention from who's not paying attention. If you're not paying attention, you're going to go back to the bottom of the file and start over again. So, you know, <clears throat> get, get your strength. Ready when you are, Christian. Oh, wait. I'm nervous. Okay. All right. You, know, you need to unmute yourself. All right. Are you able to hear me? Yes, I can hear. But, you know. Okay, that's not working out. Um, you know, are you there? I'm sorry. You know? It's okay. Okay, I'm going to okay. pick one. It's okay. That's okay. Um, let, me, let me see if um, um, Andre Albert, can you hear me. You can check Albert, I believe, right, if, right. if it's okay. Albert was yes. the mark one, yes, Albert. Correct. Yes, Albert. Yeah, you're perfect, yeah. Jody. Thank you. Yeah. Albert. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Uh, I can hear you. Perfect, Albert. Now, Albert, you remember how I was with you earlier, so make sure these people don't walk through pretty easy, okay? Albert, the secretary. Yes, you're the secretary. Uh, let me go over the script quickly first, okay, so I can get familiarized. Just be a normal secretary. You don't need to go over the script. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just be as normal as it gets. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so you are promoted for a secretary job today. <laughs> you, you are promoted. Yes, you promoted. <laughs> right, let's do it. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not going to be hard for you. I'm not going to be hard to Just go ahead and call and I'll just ask you questions. That's uh, the normal uh, uh, inbound call. Go ahead. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Ring, ring. Uh, yes. Good morning. This is Tamara from ABC Company. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Albert from ABC Company. <laughs> I remember the marriage. Right. Right. <laughs> Let's do it again. I'm sorry. All right, no problem. Ring, ring. Yes, good morning. This is Albert from ABC Company. May I ask who's Hello, calling? Al ah, yes. Hello, Albert. Good morning. Um, this is Christian speaking. I need to speak with a person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? I I'm sorry. What, what, what company are you with? Oh, yes, I'm with Digitech Payments. All right, oh, Christian. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait. Um, please do not just say I'm with Digitech Payments and stop it there because he's, he's going to start asking me more questions now. Oh, so yes, just let him call. Right. Force right. him. Let, let, let him get to work because if you stop it right there, he's going to be like, oh, what is Digitech Payment? What does Digitech Payment do? He's going to be asking all that all questions right. and you're going to probably be stuck up here with him the whole time. All right. One, come again? Okay, ring, ring. Yes, good morning. This is Albert from ABC Company. How can I help you? Hello, Albert. Good morning. I need to speak with a person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? I'm sorry, who's calling? Uh, yes, this is Christian. And may I know who is the one responsible for, for your merchant account? Um, okay, Christian, what company are you with? I, I don't know what your purpose of the call. What company oh, are yes, you with? Um, I'm with Digitech Payments, a broker company. May I know who I can speak with uh, or the one who's responsible for the merchant account? Uh, what is this regarding? Oh, this is regarding with the information and validation so that I can get verification and I'll wait while you direct my call. All right, let me check if he's available right now. Find out his name. Find out his name. Ask Albert Christian. for the person's name. Christian, you need to ask Albert for that name before you get over there so that way you can adjust the decision maker better. Uh, the name of the secretary, right? I... No, not, not the name of the decision maker. maker. He said All he's right. going to see uh, if he's available. So what, when, when he said that, just go ahead and ask him um, what's, what's that person's name. Or, or you can right. let him go, and then when he returns back, you could say, what is that person's name? So you always want to get the person, the decision maker name from the secretary. It's very important. Right. That way you know to adjust the decision maker when you get a hold of them. All right. Okay. So may I know the, per uh, may I know the name of the decision maker? His name is Mr. Brown. 
let me check it for All you, right, okay? You. All right, no problem. Okay, uh, Mr. Brown, Christian from Digital Companies here. Would you like to take his call? Certainly. All right, Christian, transferring you to Mr. Brown. Go ahead. Hello, Mr. Brown. This is Christian with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally, and I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. And to determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask just a couple of uh, questions if you don't mind. Go ahead. All right. So the first will be, uh, just to confirm rather, are you indeed the one who looks after the merchant account for the business? Next question. Yes. Go ahead. All right. And who are you affiliated with? Chase. I mean, all right. Um, Thank you very much. Go ahead. Um, I know, I know, affiliated is a good term, but you know these people are very mean. Who's going to be right. listening to the record? So just go ahead and ask the question exactly what it is. Just you can tweet anything else, but ask the questions. You know, what I mean, dead All online. Right. Keep it, okay. Keep, yes. Um, I know who are you currently processing with? Um, Chase. Thank you very much, and. May I know if they send the statement through online or by email or by mail, email. rather? All right. Thank you very much. And sir, uh, to add uh, more information, may I have your email? Um, I don't have one. All right. No problem. And thank you very much for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% off of your rates and fees. Will that be all right with you, Mr. Brown? Certainly, sure. All right, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and transfer you. Just give me one moment. All right. Hello, this is Christian ID 02. I have Mr. Brown here on the line with contact number 12345678. I did anyone get that? I didn't. Oh, um, <laughs> you're, you're sounding. I like believe it's an in No, it, it's an internet issue, Bradman issue. Uh, yeah. Star Trek. Star Trek. All right, Christian, 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 sorry. <clears throat> Kristen, um, I realize you're having a bit of internet issue, but that was good. Good job. Um, who's next? Uh, sir, I'm sorry for interrupting. Uh, can I next, um, uh, Michael Yo because, um, she's having a headache right now and if she, um, can she, if she done, yes, uh, for for the for the scenario, after the scenario, um, can we can she can he excuse? Of course, yes, definitely. Okay, uh, Michael, Joe, can you? Um, I think I'm. Uh, is it okay now? Okay, everyone can excuse if they need to, except for Albert. He has to stay here all day. He's my secretary. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No problem. All right, is, is it fine to do the transfer again? Correct. Go ahead. All right. Just give me one moment. All right. Hello, this is Christian ID02, and I am Mr. Brown here on the line with contact number 12345678, and currently uses Chase as his processor. He, uh, he don't receive his statements, and it, uh, he doesn't have an email, and would like to know how to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Well, I do receive a statement. I said I receive it online. Oh, right. I'm email. Glad. I'm right. sorry about that, Mr. Brown. All right. Yes. I'm sorry about but, that. All right. So, from I the do receive a statement. Good job. Um, okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, next person. I'm okay. Michael Joe. You said I'm Michael. Michael Joe? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, here. Uh, hey, Michael. 
Yes. Uh, MJ, what's up, MJ? I'm not feeling well. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. If you if you want to okay. mute yourself, if you want to mute yourself and listen, it's up to you. Uh. Yeah. You know I mean, it's up to you. Um. Yep. Uh, I can. Uh, I wanted to learn a lot. Uh. So. Uh. I requested Mark that. Uh. I can be the next one. Okay. All right. So I can ex excuse myself. More people need to be okay. like MJ. You guys so, like force it. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, ring ring. So can I start now? Yes, sir. Sure, go ahead. Say ring ring. All right. So good morning. Uh, uh, sorry. Ring ring. All right. Good morning. This is Albert from uh, ABC Company. How can I help you today? Good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account and who would that who would that be? All right, excuse me. Uh, may I ask who's calling, please? Um this is uh, MJ. MJ, okay. Uh what what company are you I'm in? with Yes, and I'm with Digitech Payments. Yes, I'm with Digitech Payments. And um and who do I need to speak with when it comes to your merchant account? Okay, MJ, uh, I, I didn't quite get that. Uh, what, what company are you with? I'm with Digitech Payments. Okay, and, how can I help uh, you? What's, who what's this regarding? What, what do you do? What, what does the company do? Um, actually, we are calling about your merchant account and who would I need to speak with regarding uh, this? Okay, uh, let me check if he is around. Okay, can I put you on hold? All right, no worries. Um, I'll, uh, I'll stay here. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, Mr. Brown. Yes, some. Um, this is Albert. Okay, um, somebody here from Digitech Payment has said his name is MJ and he would like to speak with you. Would like, would you like to uh, take the call? You said it's MJ. Yes. I thought MJ was dead. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, MJ. Hello, MJ. Hello. Yes. Hello. Um, yes, okay. hello, um, Mr. Brown. This is MJ. This is hey, MJ, MJ for Michael, MJ, I'm, 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 Michael I'm, I'm Albert. So, uh, MJ, hello. <laughs> hello. Excuse me. I'm, I'm Albert. Okay, you, I, I haven't transferred your call yet. Yes. Okay, Mr. Brown is available <laughs> and, he, and he would like to speak to you. Uh, so, I'm going to transfer your call now. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm yes, ready. I'm ready. Transfer. Okay, I'm transferring your call now to Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, MJ. MJ, I thought you were dead. Hello, this is... Uh, no, I'm still alive. I'm Michael Joe, not Michael Jordan. <laughs> oh, Michael Joe. Yeah, I was thinking Michael of Jackson. MJ. Because I, mean, I know Michael Jackson. Yeah. Michael <laughs> I'm like, which one of these MJ are we talking about? I know both of them is there. All right, good. I understand. Go ahead. What's, what's up, MJ? What are you selling today? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Brown. This is, again, MJ with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to, he to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. So, um, to determine um, exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick, of quick questions, if you don't mind. Sure. What are those questions? Uh, thank you so much. And just to confirm, um, you are indeed the, the one that looks after the merchant account for the business? Yes. All right. Okay. So who are you currently... Um, who are you currently processing with? Well, MJ, the last time I checked, I thought you were dead, so I'm not going to give you that information. Oh, 
Uh, no, no problems about that. Uh, uh, another question: um, When they send you your statement, uh, do they send it um, online or through the email? Through the mail? Uh, I can't recall. I don't remember. To be honest with you, it's been a while. All right. All right. So that I can add more information in your hand. So, uh, what is your email ID, please? That would be brown at gmail dot com. All right. If I if I got that correctly, that's brown at gmail dot com. Is that correct? Correct. All right. Thank you for for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate forty percent of your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Um. MJ, is it possible for you to call him back later? Um, I thought you were the one who was going to help me, but right now I'm, you know, I'm a little bit busy. If that makes sense. Um, let me go ahead. I'm actually, um, uh, in regards to the callback, sir, I re um, uh, I respect that you are currently busy right now. But we would like to provide you with more details about how you can save money on your current merchant services. We have very competitive rates and we will well, offer you the lowest service. on the market without sacrificing on the excellent service. All right. Ahead, Thank you so much for that. Transfer it. that. That's pretty good. I like, I like the way you um, do it. Um, the only <laughs> thing I said, there was a delay in between, so you need to pick up on that delay, okay? All right. Uh, sorry for that. Make All right. So uh, transferring now. Uh, okay. Uh, hello. This is MJ ID zero two, and I have uh, Mr. Brown on the line with contact number one two three four five six seven eight nine zero, and currently um, I don't have. Wish not to say. or the company's process. Just say wish not I'm to sorry? say. Just say wish not to say. For whatever I didn't, okay. whatever information you didn't get from those questions, just say wish not to say. Um, his processor, he wish not okay. to say. His statement, he wish not to say. Okay. say. You could just at that point, you could say he don't remember. Yeah, or he don't remember. You know, okay. for the statement, he didn't remember. So you could just say he didn't okay. remember. But, but I don't want to just say he wish not to say and just keep moving on. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, so going back um, from the top. So, hello, this is MJ, um, ID 02, and I have here Mr. Brown on the line with contact number 123-456-7890. And he, he wished not to say the process, their processor, and uh, he can't really remember the how they received the statement and would like to save money in their merchant services. Um, can you take it from here? Well, yes, I can take it from here, but you didn't give me his email, just so you know. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, yes, the, the email is the email is uh, brown at gmail.com. Okay, good job. Um, <clears throat> So one problem I noticed right. many of you Great. are having is no you you good um MJ you good that's good so one problem I noticed a lot of you guys are having is um to transfer over to the right specialist so here's what I try to tell all my people those four questions that's there <coughs> write them on a piece of paper because I don't believe in using cell phone while you're at work so I ought to say write those four questions on a piece of paper. And whenever the person gives you the information, you chat it right next to it. And when you're reading over here saying, thanks for sharing all that information, you're also taking your phone number down too to make life easy for you. You're doing all that stuff. <clears throat> so that way, when you go over to the rate specialist, you have it right in front of you. You just start reading it. A lot of people, it's easier for them to read by holding a piece of paper compared to a lot of people just sitting there looking at the computer reading. So <clears throat> it's very easy for you just to have a piece of paper in your hands and just said such and such. And, and for me, when I write stuff, I, I tend to remember it. 
I don't forget when I write it. So it's easier for me that way. I don't know about other people. Um, <clears throat> so good job, MJ. Who's next? Can I? Hello, uh, can I? Sure. Of course, Sam. Hello? Sam, right? Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Sam. Uh, ring, ring. Good afternoon. Yes, this is Albert from ABC Company. How can I help you today? Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Albert. I need to speak with a person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? I'm sorry, who's this? Uh, I'm Sam with Digitech Payments. And we're calling about your merchant account. And who would, who would I need to speak with regarding with this? Okay, Sam, before we do that, how can I help you? What, what is this regarding? Uh, yeah, we are actually updating our information and I need to get some information and verification. Some verification. And, and get so some it, verification. Okay. So it goes like this. We are updating our information and we need to and get need some to. verification. And I'll wait while you direct my call. Thank my you. Call. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thanks. Okay, we are, we, are update, we are updating our information and I need to get some verification and I'll wait while you direct my calls, okay? Can I get also the name of the de decision maker? Well, okay. not, don't say the decision maker, just say the person who's in charge. Uh, who, is, or who is the name of the personal in charge? Person in charge, okay. Okay, let me check if he's available. His name is Mr. Brown. I'll put okay, you on thank you. Just send him over real fast. Um, Albert, we have time to go. Let's go. Okay. All right, Mr. Brown, this is uh, uh, Sam from uh, Line One, and he wants to speak with you. He's from Digitech Payments. All right. Digitech okay. Call. okay, Sam, transfer you to Mr. Uh, Brown. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, sir. Hello, hello. This is Sam with Digitech Payments, Merchant Services Company. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call, sir. Okay. So due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return back to normal, okay? Is that good, sir? Yes. Uh, so de to determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of questions if you don't mind, sir, okay? So okay. first is... Just to confirm, you are in need the one that looks after the merchant account for the business? Yes. Okay, that's good. Who are you currently processing with, sir? Wish not to say. Okay, you wish not to say. I understand. When they send you your statement, sir, do they send it you online or through the email? Through mail? Okay, <clears throat> guys, for everyone... Um, when they said online, I, I guess we could change that to email or mail. So when they said online, it's very simple. They send it, do they, you receive it by mail or through the mail. Is then you walk out to the post box, you grab your mail. You know what I mean? Okay. That's basically so what when, Okay, when, <clears throat> when they send you their you your statement, do they send it to your email or through the mail? Okay, um, through the mail. Through the mail, okay. So that I can add more information in your hand. What is your email address, sir, Mr. Brown? Um, <clears throat> I don't remember. Okay, you don't remember. Okay, I understand. So thank you for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you to one of our rate, rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 30% off your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you, sir? How many percent? 40% sir. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. This is Sam. I deserve to. I have Mr. Brown here and his contact number is 123 and his processor he wish not to say and he receives their statement via mail would like to save money on their merchant services and he didn't I didn't uh, he did not give me an email and can you take it from here? Sure. Good. good job. Okay. Is that good? So great. I will exit exit off the call now. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Yes, good job. Um pretty good job right there. Who's next? See guys, I um I do realize the more you come in one by one as you guys come along, I realize Oh 
how much you guys are actually studying this thing. I mean, I understand. I'm, I'm realize who's actually following along from who's not following along. So good job so far, guys. Who's next? Hello. Can go. Yes. Okay. Oh. How do you pronounce your name? Um, this is Irish, Irish from. Oh, he's Irish. Okay, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> Erica would say Irish. Okay. Okay. Um, so, ring, no ring. Morning. This is a Albert from the ABC Company. How can I help you today? Hi, good morning, Albert. This is Irish. Um, I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? Um, what company are you with? Um, I am with Digitech Payments. And who I need to speak with. Okay, what is, what is this regarding? What is Digitech Company? Uh, we are calling about your merchant account. And who would I need to speak with regarding this? Okay, it's Mr. Brown. Can I put you on hold? I'll, give you, I'll uh, check if it's available. All right, thank you so much, Albert. Sir Brown, Irish is on the line. He's from Digi she's from Digitech Company. Would you like to speak with her? Certainly. Irish, transferring to uh, Mr. Brown. Go ahead. All right, thank you so much. Um, hello, Mr. Brown. Hello. Uh, hi, uh, this is Irish with Digitech Payments. Uh, my company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate oh, you taking my call. Irish? Um, you sound really good. So here's the thing: Is it huh? okay if I toss if I toss some questions in it? Because you sound really good. Which, uh, uh, you know, when I'm talking, sure. to people, like I like to. Or is that okay with you? I like yeah, to sure. give you a more harder, harder. Oh fuck! Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> decision maker. All right. So start welcome top. Introduce yourself again, and I'm going to be tossing questions. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Um. Hello, Mr. Brown. Hello. Uh, hi, uh, this is Irish with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. Uh, who you say you're with? Um, I am with Digitech Payments, Mr. Brown. What is Digitech Payments? Um, we are the, um, the merchants for your... Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm listening. Oh, sorry. Um, the um, the line is breaking up. So um, again, I am from Digitech Payments, and we are the um, the merchants that can help you um, with your payments. You said the merchant that can help me with my payments. Is that what you just said? The merchant can help me with my payments. Um. Uh, yes, that's um, that's right, Mr. Brown. Okay, well, I've never really heard of Digitech Payment before. Okay. Oh, well, um, that's fine, uh, Mr. Brown, because um, later on, um, we can explain you more about our, um, our company. Why don't you just go ahead and explain to me right now before we go any further? Well, um, right now, Mr. Brown, now there is a, um, there is, um, we have another um, right specialist that can explain you further um, regards okay. with your concerns. Okay, go ahead and connect me to that right specialist. Um, I can totally do that, uh, Mr. Brown. But before that, um, I just need to um, Iris, ask some questions. Me. Iris, excuse me. I'm not going to answer any questions. and I don't want to be rude to you. So go ahead and connect me to that right specialist. You said you have a right specialist. Connect me to that right specialist. Um, I really do apologize for that, Mr. Brown. But again, um, before I can, um, I can connect you over to our rate specialist, I need to um, get some information or um, I just well, want to confirm more. Go well, ahead. At this point, that's why I think this is a scam because um, I ask you a few questions. You're not able to answer me. So I don't want to talk to your rate specialist and I really don't want to go any further with this conversation. So bye. That's what you're going to get, okay. Iris. That's what you're gonna get, okay? <laughs> you start, you start okay. to come off as you start to come off as you know. One, you don't know what you're talking about. Two, um, mm -hmm. they're not gonna put on a conversation with you. And these are the real questions that they're gonna ask, okay? So one, I ask uh -huh. you, what is Digitech? You said you are a merchant, uh, you know, for or account. I am. How do how did you do the how do you say it again? Um. I said that we are a merchant that can help you with your payments. But Perfect, yeah. honestly, I really forget about 
about did you take payments i apologize okay guys this is the last time i'm gonna say this because i know when everyone is in school you do pay attention to the teacher uh, actually that's a lie i was in the back of the classroom <laughs> but guys um you do need to pay attention this is the real world <laughs> at school anymore so a digitech payment is a merchant broker a merchant broker sorry Correct. so if they ask you that question what is digitech digitech is a merchant the merchant broker, broker. Okay. okay now you're gonna pull the customer back into you they're gonna listen to what you have to say now, what they said, they never heard about Digitech before. Well, Digitech has been around for over 26 years. That's a long time. You know what I mean? And we are located, explain to them exactly where we're located, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. You don't even have to say Quebec if you don't, you know. So, cause that word's very tough. Word, it's French. So, um, but you could just say, we located in Montreal, Canada. Okay. All right, I understand. Because they are in Canada. M many of these people you're going to be talking to is either in Canada or you're in the U.S. <coughs> um, if they said to you, but well, we are in the U.S., you said we also have, because they also have an office here in America as well. So they have office all over. So, you know I mean, you need to, because it was 2011 when they actually moved their main office to Quivet. You know I mean, um, they started off in 1994 right here in America. Then in 2011, they moved their main office to Canada because it's cheaper for their taxes. That's just between us. That's the research I learned on them when I read about them. <laughs> this is not on air, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I want you to start back from the top. When I ask you who is Digitech Payment, what are you going to say? Mm -hmm. um, we are the merchant broker. We are a merchant broker, not we are the, because um, it means that you're employed. Sorry. Correct. You mean that you're we are a merchant you're... broker. Perfect. So we are a merchant mm -hmm. broker. If I said, if I, I've never heard about Digitech before, what are you going to say? Um, we are. We have been around. Yeah. Digitech we have over. we have been around for over twenty six years, and we are located in Montreal, Canada. Okay. All right. Then. Okay, I understand. Go ahead and set to the um, <clears throat> due to the global situation. Start from there. Okay. Hang on, uh, my notes. Give me a minute. Okay. okay. Um, here. Okay. So, um, true to the um, global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by twenty-five to forty percent. Our goal is to help put money back in your business to use when, you're, when things return to normal. To determine okay, exactly... Um, okay, I'm going to ask more questions. <laughs> yeah, you're you like yourself. asking me questions. Because <laughs> I do, I do want to see who's paying attention from who's not, okay? Okay. So the question I'm going to ask at this point, <coughs> how are you going to save me money in my merchant account? Because this is a lot of questions that a lot of people get to ask. They ask right here. This is a lot of questions that your customers ask right here. How are you going to be able to save me money in my merchant account? Mm. So you're That's not paying attention. battles, right? You're not paying attention. No, it's not. You're not really paying attention. So here's the thing. You remember earlier when I have Chanel on here and I have Tamara here and I have Jennifer here role playing real quick? So these I hack really hard questions and they answer it. Now, this is where you said, you know, how are you going to be able to help me to save money in my merchant account to determine exactly how much we can save you? That's where you want to hit it. And then you go ahead and ask those four questions. So <clears throat> in other words, there's no rebuttal for that. Mm. That's just you explain to them, you know, just because you know, I'm asking you how much, how are you going to save me money? This is a question, man. No, you you respond to me to determine exactly how much I can save you. Um, we can save you. I need to just I need to ask you just a couple quick questions, if you don't mind, okay? Mm -hmm. And wait for the pause and wait for the answer. If they, if the answer is no, not interested, what are some of your reasons? Um. <clears throat> You mean you need to get the flow? You need to keep it flowing smooth. What are some of your reasons? If you don't mind me asking, um, 
a lot of agents, a lot of people will say at this point, um, I already have a current processor. And that's when you explain to them, I do understand that most people that we talk to, these are rebuttals. I'm not looking at any rebuttals. This is just me flowing smooth with you. Because um, <clears throat> I studied this this much that, you know I mean, these become a, number, a part of my nature at the point. So at this point, you say, you know, <clears throat> most, of, most people that we talk to are under a contract. Um, mm -hmm. But there is a 60 to 90 days um, <clears throat> windows. I, I forgot how it goes, but basically you can explain to them there's a 60 to 90 days. For me at this point, I would already be having a button in front of me if I was talking to one of them. But, <clears throat> but you know what I mean? I already have enough knowledge to, to start the conversation so I don't have a gap in between. And I would ask, explain to you that you know, there's, a, there's a 90, there's a 60 to 90 days windows that, um, that recycle every month, every, every 60 to 90 days and um, <clears throat> where you're not going to be charged and your rates, are, you, you won't be charged from your merchant account, from your current merchant broker if you decide to change. Now, um, we are not asking you to change right now. We're just trying to see if we can help you to save money in your merchant account. It's very simple. It's very easy. And at this point, I'm going to feel more comfy talking to you if that makes sense to you because <clears throat> You just, um, <coughs> you basically just explain everything to me. So I'm going to feel more comfy talking to you as a decision maker. Um, cause you see the smoother, the smoother you go through, the easier it is for everyone to understand what you're saying. Um, does that make sense to you, Irish? Um, yes, but, um, the line is really breaking up. Um, I didn't get all the details that you, um, said earlier. Okay, those details um, are in your rebuttals. All those details I just said earlier are in your rebuttals, okay? Uh, okay, I see. All right, so go ahead and um, said, I'm going to ask you, how are you going to save money on my American account? Um, again? What's that again? How are you going to save me money on my American account? I'm sorry, it's, um, it's really breaking up. Oh. How are you going to save me money on my merchant account? To determine. I think he's having trouble with the connection. Yeah. Um, hello yes okay um is it working properly now yes we can hear it loud and clear can you okay. hear us <laughs> sorry yeah i can hear you now uh, much better um okay so the question was um how can i help you with the oh can you help save me money in my merchant account <laughs> okay um to determine how exactly we can save you um I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Okay, what are those questions? Okay, um, just to confirm, um, are you indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for this business? Yes. All right, that's good. So, um, who are you currently processing with? I wish not to say. All right, so what's, that's totally fine, uh, Mr. Brown. So, uh, when they send you your statement, though they send it to you... Uh, via mail or email well just go ahead and say online or or, or through the mail uh, online uh, do they send it to you online or through mail um i receive it by mail all right that's good um so that i can add more questions in your hands what is your email <clears throat> um it would be brown at gmail.com all right. Thank you so much, Mr. Brown, for sharing this information with me. Um, I would like to connect you to our uh, one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% off your rates and fees. Will that be all right with you? Sure. All right. Perfect. Um, just give me a minute so I can transfer you over, okay? Okay. Not transfer. Connect. I'll connect you over. Hello, uh, this is Irish, ID02, and I have Mr. Brown on the line with the contact number 12345. 
and um, he doesn't want to say what's his processor and um, he receives their statement via mail and his e email is brown at gmail.com can you take it um and would would like to save money on their merchant services can you take it from here okay perfect who's next mark two team hello guys who's next hello yes uh, okay sir can you hear me i can hear you okay great um gene mark two gene yeah hi can you hear me okay hello okay Oh. Hello? Yeah, yeah. You we can, can hear, hear you. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Right. Thank you. All right, ring, ring. Good afternoon. This is Albert from ABC Company. How can I help you? Hi, Albert. Good afternoon. My name is Jean, and I'd like to speak to the person uh, responsible for your merchant account. I'm sorry, what company are you with? Uh, I'm with Digitech Payments, and it's... The, the person available, the one who's uh, responsible for your mer uh, merchant account. Okay, let me see if he is available. Mm. All right. Uh, Mr. Brown, uh, Jean is on uh, line one and uh, she wants to speak with you. She's from Digitech Payments. Would you like to take her call? Yes. <clears throat> Jean, transfer right, to Mr. You. Brown, he's available. Go ahead. All right, thank you. Hi, hello. This is Jean with Digitech Payments. Um, am I speaking with Mr. Brown? Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking my call. Well, um, due to the global situation, we're contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by twenty-five to forty percent. Uh, our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. Now, to, to determine exactly how much we can save you, I just need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Okay, go ahead. All right, and I just want to confirm you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for business? Yes. Okay, great. And um, who are you currently processing with? Chase. Great. Thank you. And do they send you a statement uh, or like through email or mail? Both. Okay, great. Thank you. And by the way, so uh, I can add more information in your hands. Uh, may I know your email address, please? No. Oh, okay, that's okay. Well, uh, thanks for sharing those information with me. Now, I'd like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who's the, who has the ability to eliminate 40% off your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? I'm a bit busy. Can you call him back later? Oh, it's okay. Um, they just need to determine a few questions, and it's just going to take a, like, you know, a few seconds. They just ask you for questions. You said what now? Is that okay with you? I'm a bit busy, as um, I said before. The possibility to call them back later. Oh well, well, I just need to connect you with our specialist, so they can answer all your questions, and it's just the okay. The what about you minutes? tell the specialist to call them back later? On. Yeah. <clears throat> you see, the customer is going to get rude to you at this point. Okay, this is where easy mm -hmm. close coming, okay. guys. Easy close, easy close. I respect that because oh, you're telling me they're busy. I respect that you're busy, and and go ahead. Um, <clears throat> MJ did it earlier. I respect that you're busy, oh, and I said that. Yeah. Try to easy close, right. guys. Okay. Like, I totally respect that, but we would like to provide you with more details about how you can save money on your current merchant services. And we have a very competitive rate and we'll offer you the lowest on the market without sacrificing the excellent services you are entitled to. So I'll just connect you with a specialist so they can answer all your questions. Would that be all right with you? Sure, certainly. All right. Great. Thank you. Uh, let me go ahead and connect you with them. Ring, ring. Ha hello. Oh, hi. This is Jean, ID02, and I have Mr. Brown on the line with a contact number 3456. And currently, he is with Chase, and he receives uh, statements both um, online and email. And he would definitely like to save money on 
their merchant services. Can you take it from here, please? Sounds oh, good. Oh, by the way, um, he gave me. No, don't worry uh, about it. By the way, don't worry about it. No, oh, okay. no. Yeah. Oh, you didn't, okay. his, you didn't receive his M, his email. You didn't receive an email from me, okay? okay. So, um, honestly, you don't really need to say anything more right here. You could just you get off, you mm -hmm. get off, you get off. You don't want to say, "Can you take it from here?" And after the, the rate specialist said yes, then you try to add more stuff to it. Just get off and um, okay. and send uh, the email as quickly as possible to to them. <laughs> But you want to get oh, okay. out. You already said, can you take it from here? That means you already introduced, you, you're about to introduce him to me. You're about to introduce both of us mm -hmm. together. You just literally did that. So in the middle of you getting off, you don't want to come back. I'm like, oh, stop, stop, guys. Hold up real quick. His email is such and such. Uh, okay. right? Yeah, you don't want to do that. So if you don't get to put the email in, then just get off. Just go. It's okay. Just go. And send it to him as quick as possible so he can actually see pop. Because... If you send it to him, as soon as you send it, you receive it exactly like, you know, maybe a second or two later. Boom. It's in front of him. It popped up. Gene Grant. Okay, good. Okay, okay, good. And then he started to know what he meant. So, he, you know, he can take it from there easier. But, yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. Next. Good job, by the way, Gene. <coughs> Hi. Can I be next? Sure. How do you pronounce your name? Uh, uh, it's Abel, but you can call me Bella. Bella, that's my yeah. um, that's my niece's name, Bella. Oh, okay. You know what Bella so, means? Yes, beautiful. What is it? Okay, it's actually beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So um, okay, so ring ring. Hello. Oh, sorry. That's gonna be um. You know what? Mark. No, stop. No, no. Guys, in the early morning, you're going to get a lot of this. Well, late and early, early, even for you guys, early morning for them. You're going to get a lot okay. of this. You're going to get a lot of this. Go ahead. So, ring, ring. Uh, Hold up. Pause for a minute, Albert. Go ahead and say ring, ring when you're ready, Bella. Okay. Um, all right. Good morning. This is Albert from ABC No, 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 no Albert. No, Albert. Albert, just mute for a minute. I'm, I'm, we're doing a different type of role play. There is actually... Two different ways all these people answer the phone. So go ahead and mute yourself. I want to get her with that. Ooh. So yeah. there's no secretary? Go ahead. Just say ring, ring. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello? Hello? Yes? Hi. Good morning. Uh, I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? That would be me. That's perfect. Okay. Well, um, my name is Bella, and I am from Digitech uh, Payments. We're calling about your merchant account, and um, we needed to update our information. So are you – I'm sorry, just give me a second. What is your title or position with the company? I am the owner. I own the company. What's up, Bella? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Well, due, well, due to the uh, global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40 percent. And our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. To determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Well, just to confirm, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business since you're the owner, right? Yes. Who are you currently processing with? Chase. That's perfect. When they send you your statement, do they send it to you online or through the mail? Mail. Well, so that I can add more information in your hands, what is your email? It's brown at gmail.com. Brown at gmail.com. Thank you for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you to one of your our weight specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your weights and fees. Would that be all right with you? Certainly. That would be perfect. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello, this is Bella, ID-02, and I have Mr. Brown on the line. Hey, you don't have them. Mr. Brown. You never asked my name. You never asked yeah. me for my name. You oh, I'm no so idea. sorry for that. You have no idea what you're talking And that's the reason why I'm just tossing answers out there because I want to see what you're going to say when you connect me. You never asked me for okay. my name. Can I go back just a few minutes? Just uh, rewind. <laughs> see, guys, seconds. guys, listen. <clears throat> I'm going to start using different names from here on out. So you guys, you need to get my name. It's important to get a decision maker name. 
You never asked me my name. So at this point, you have no idea we're introducing to the decision maker, to, to the rate specialist. And um, that's really bad for business. You go over there like, I have your own mind. Oops, what's your name? Can you please remind me of your name? Oh, no, you didn't tell me? Oh, sorry. I have Mr. No Name over here online. Okay, and okay, I'm sorry yeah, for that. Come on, come on Bella. I, I said this like <laughs> times earlier. I even said get it from the secretary. Get it from, you, mean, you need to get the name. It's very important. Sorry. I'm just too nervous right now. <laughs> I understand, but go back from, you, here's how far you're going to go back from all the way up top. On the top. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Because that's yeah, where you should have my name. You, you don't want to be... So, here's how it goes, Bello. Go ahead. You're going to be the decision maker, okay? Okay. Ring, ring. Uh, hello? Hello. I need to speak with a person who's responsible for your merchant account. Who would that be? Uh, that, that would be me. Hi. Um, if my name is Mike, and what's yours? It's Bella. Hi, Bella. How are you doing today? I'm great. And you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so I'm with Digitech Payment. I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation. Now, you see what I just did? Yes. I forgot that part. Yeah. Okay. So I got your name and I asked you, how are you doing? And I get into mm -hmm. the information. I, don't, I didn't really need to go back and say, my name is again. I just let you know I'm with Digitech Payment. And I, you know, I, mean, I get into more details. Because you don't, re you know, I already introduced myself as Mike. My name is Mike, and what is your name? I pulled that from you. It's pretty easy. <laughs> introduce yourself first. My name is, and ask them for theirs. Pull it. You know, I mean, so start from the top again. Okay. Uh, there you go. Ring, ring. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account, and who would that be? That would be me. Hello, my name is Bella, and I'm from Digitech Payments. May I know who I'm talking to? You're talking to Sam. Hello, Sam. Well, I'm calling. Um, uh, I'm calling with Digitech Payments, and my company requested that I contact you personally. So I really appreciate you taking my so Bella, call. Bella. Go ahead. Gonna, I'm sorry. You need it to flow a lot smoother and easier, so let's do it again one more time. And um, let's go again. Um, again, listen to what I said. Ring, ring. Okay. Hi. Good morning. I need to speak with the person no, responsible no, no. for your... No, no. I am, I am the agent again, so go ahead and answer. Ah, okay. <clears throat> and you, this is how you need to make it flow, so you, you don't sound confused, or they don't mm. get confused, because you want them to... So, in other words, you use words and make it easier and smoother as possible and keep calm and relax cause you, and put a smile on your face because this way it sounds a lot better to them and they can understand you and they will listen to what you have to say. Come here, if you try to rush through it, you're going back and forth to Digitech Payment every five seconds. It's like, are you trying to send me Digitech Payment? What is Digitech Payment? What is this person really talking about Digitech Payment? I have never heard of Digitech Payment. Who are you, Digitech Payment? You're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of questions going through their heads. Okay. okay. So what you really yeah. want to do is dial it all the way back. So go ahead, answer again. Hello, um, ring ring. Hello. Uh, hello. I need to speak with the person who's responsible for your merchant account, and who will that be? That would be me. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. My name is Mike. Um, what's yours? It's Bella. Hey, Bella. Um, so. I'm with Digitech Payment. My company requested that I contact you personally. Due to the global situation, you see what I just did? Yes. Yeah, I, I already introduced my name, so I didn't need to go back again and introduce my name again for second time. See what I mean? Forget about the second name. Just go ahead and say, yeah, I'm with Digitech Payment. So before I even introduce the company, <coughs> I leave it. I introduce myself. I try to find out your name, and then I move on. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's start from the top again. Ready? Ready. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi. Good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? That would be me. That's great. Well, my name is Bella. And what's your name? It's Mike. 
Hello, Mike. Um, with Digitech Payments, and my company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Well, due all to the global right. situation. Stop right there. Scroll all the way to the bottom and um, transfer me over. You already got all the information you need. That's what you need to start it off. But you already got all that information, so I don't need to go back to it again with you, okay? <clears throat> Does that make sense to you? Yeah, but you didn't give me the email, the, the three questions, though. So I'll have to transfer I you? I did. I give. I gave you. I said I was a decision maker. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I used Chase. I used Chase. I received my statement by mail, and I didn't give you an email. Actually, okay. I did. I said the email is brown at gmail. I did give you all that information. So you, yes. this is something very important to keep in mind. You need to remember everything, okay? <clears throat> yes. So go ahead and transfer me over now. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello, this is Bella, ID-02, and I have um, Mike on the line with contact number 12345 and currently uses Chase. He receives their statements online and would like to save money on their merchant services. Their email address is... No. Nope. Um, Start back from the top again. Okay, you, ring, ring. Once you, said, once you said they would like to save money, the rate specialist is going to say, okay, his job is once you save money is to take it from there. That's his job. Okay, so if you, right, now. If, right. If you said he would like to save money, the rate specialist is going to start to start. Now at this point, he's going to start to say stuff. So mm -hmm. you don't want to be going back on anything else. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and start from the top again right there. Hello, this is. Hello, this is Bella. ID number that zero two and I have Mike on the line with contact number one two three four five and currently uses Chase. He receives uh, receives their statements by uh, online and would like to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Okay. Great. I sure. will exceed off the call now. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Now you forgot to give me give me the email, but that's okay because you don't want to go back. Okay. Yes. All right, good job. So, who's next? Who's next? Love your agents are done. Um, Mark two, uh, Isha. Hello. Hi, Aisha. So, um, Aisha, we're gonna go ahead and use Albert again Hello. for um. For my secretary. So okay, Albert, okay, okay. okay. Ring, ring. Good morning. This is Albert from right, ABC Albert Company. Call, okay? Good morning. Good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for a merchant account. And who would that be? May I ask who's calling, please? Uh, certainly, this is um, Isha. And your name is? Hello. Um, no, what, what company are you with? I'm with Digitech Payments. And who do I need to speak with? What is the call regarding to? We are calling about your merchant account. And who will, need, who will I need to speak with regarding this? Uh, that would be Mr. Brown. Uh, let me check if he is available right now. Okay, thank you. Hello, Mr. Brown. Uh, Isha is uh, on the line and she's yeah, from the payments. She would, right, like, thank she would you. like to speak with you. Uh, would you like to take her call? Sure. Go ahead, Isha. I'm transferring you to Mr. Brown. Okay. Hello, this is Isha with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40 percent. Our girl. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. To determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind, sir. Okay, go ahead. Just to confirm, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business, right? Yes. Who are you currently processing with? And Chase. Last year, okay. When they send you your statement, do they send it to you e online or through right. the mail? Just the, uh, um, <clears throat> I think online. Okay. So that I can add more information in your hands, what is your email? 
Yeah. Uh, it would be brown at gmail.com. Okay, right. brown at gmail.com. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 30% of your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Um, I'm a bit busy. Is it possible for you to call him back later? Okay. I respect that. We would like to provide you with more details about how can you save money on your current mer merchant services. We have very competitive rates and we will offer you the lowest on the market without sacrificing the excellent services you're entitled to. I will just connect you with our specialists and they can answer all your questions. Would that be all right with you? Sure. Okay, thank you. Ring, ring. Go ahead. Hello, this is Isha, ID02, and I have Mr. Brown on the line with contact number 12345 and currently uses Chase processor. Uh, he, he did not uh, mention his... Um, ah, okay. My, my bad, my bad. Okay. He received their statements via online, uh, via mail, and would like to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Certainly. <clears throat> so, Isha, <coughs> Aisha. Yes. <coughs> good, good job. Thank um, you. Are you okay? Yes, yes, yes. I'm nervous. Nervous. Okay, good. Um, so, okay. great job. You, you, um, that was pretty good. No problem. No Thank problem. you. I would say, I really don't have much to, um, <coughs> to, to say, because you, you were actually sharp on your rebuttal okay so that's pretty good so great job thank you uh, mark is it you're with mark two right mark two yes uh who's who, mark two can you report um yes uh next uh miguel um mark two quick one quick question before you report um yeah. Keep Aisha as a, you can use her as a, as a windbreaker for, uh, for the new people that right? coming in. Uh, I'm sorry? Like, you can use her as a, like, to end, when new people are coming in, you can use her to, you can use her as your, the person who introduced them to the business, if that makes sense to you. Okay, no problem. Yeah, because she, she sounds very smooth with her, with everything just now, so. If they, you, like, for example, like oh, earlier, I just pull out one, someone from my team real quick to go over it with, because I know what they're capable of doing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So she, is, she would be a good fit for that position, if that makes sense to you. Yeah, hi, how are you today? Uh, okay. Who's next? Are you okay, Tisha, go on mute. Uh, next, Miguel, please. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome, Aisha. Uh, ring, ring. So, Miguel, it's going to be me and you this time. There's no, no one else in there, all right, Miguel? Okay. All right, it's just me and you in the room. There's no one else listening, just me and you. You ready? Ready. Go from top. Ring, ring. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes? You can, you can. Yeah, hi, good morning. Uh, this is Miguel, and I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? That would be me. Yeah, hello. Um, yeah, could I have your name, please? Excuse me? Uh, could I have your name, please? Yeah, um, sure. It's Sam. Hi, Sam. Um, so, um, what is your um, uh, title or position with the company? Miguel, you're the one who called me. Um, <clears throat> what's up? Yeah, um, I'm from Digitech Payments, and um, we're currently um, calling about your merchant account. Okay, I'm good with my merchant account. Thank you, Miguel, for calling. <clears throat> you're going to get that, Miguel. You're going to lose a customer. <clears throat> uh, I respect that, uh, Mr. Brown. Uh, I mean, Mr. No, Sham. No, Miguel, you already lose me. Trust me. <clears throat> you already lose oh. me. The customer is not going to be talking anymore. So, <clears throat> Miguel, it's very simple. Stick with the script. Um, hello. Hello, good morning. Um, can I speak? Um, sorry, <clears throat> I need to speak with a person who's responsible for your merchant account. Stop it right there. And who will that be? And who will that be? Stop it. The person said that would be them. Hi, my name is Miguel. 
and your name is? Once I tell you, you go into the script. At the end of the end, at the end of it, you can ask them. <clears throat> like for example, once you said, "I need to connect you to one of our word specialists," would that be okay with you? And they said yes. You said, um, "If you don't mind me asking, what is your title?" That's where you you probably want to seek sneak in that title. Okay. All right. Because because when you're really talking to the word specialist, you're not really telling the word specialist what the person title is. The person title is going to be for Mark to. Yeah, you're with Mark too. So the person, the title is for Mark too, not really you. The title is actually for Joe Deep to be exact, not really anyone else. <clears throat> so you just want to ask the title at the end of it. You don't be friends with the person first. You know what I mean? Let them get to know you a little bit before you try to ask, hey, dude, what's your position at your company? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I to, yeah, so start from the top again. <clears throat> okay. Ring, ring. Hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, good morning. This is Miguel from um, okay. Digital. Stop again, Miguel. Stop again. Mm -hmm. Don't introduce yourself. Please do not introduce yourself. Just go ahead and say, I need to speak with a personal response for your merchant account, okay? Got it. Okay, so go ahead. Yeah, ring, ring. Hello. Uh, good morning. Uh, I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who will that be? And who would that be? That would be me. <clears throat> Hello. Um, yeah. Uh, could I ask your name, please? No. No. So again, let's start from the top. One, it's very simple. I need to speak to the person who is responsible for your merchant account. And who will that be? Stop. That would be me. Okay, my name is Miguel. And what is yours? Does that sound better to you, Miguel? Yeah. Very introduce yourself to them first so they know who, you, who they're talking to and then ask them for their name compared to what is your name you know what I mean just go ahead and introduce yourself my name is Miguel and what is yours that sounds a lot more better does it uh, you does all right <clears throat> Miguel my name is Mike and what is yours my name is Miguel okay um, it helps you to, to tell me your name correct right because so <clears throat> I answer your question before you ask me the question does that make sense I already explained to you who I am my name is Mike which clearly said you don't need to go any further you don't need to worry yourself anymore okay what is your name mm -hmm. yeah so start from the top again Just say the ring ring uh, ring ring hello Hello, good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? That would be me. Yeah, hi. My name is Miguel. And your name is? Um, it's Sam. Hello, Sam. Um, so um, I'm with Digitech Payments, and my company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Well, uh, due to the global situation, situation that we are um, contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Uh, the goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. And for me, to, for us to be able to determine exactly how we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Um, I don't mind, but quick one. <clears throat> Miguel, does, does this, I know it takes you at, at least 10 trials, but you, you finally think you got it now, up top? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Does you re do you realize I didn't stop you for a minute because you were flowing so smooth? Yes. Does that more make sense? Do you know what you're saying and what you're doing? Yes. Okay, go ahead and ask your first questions. Okay, just to confirm, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business, correct? Yes. Okay, and you're currently processing with who? I would say a local bank. A local bank. Okay, thank you. And when they send your statement, do they send it to you online or through post? Through, through what now? Through post or mail. Well, I haven't received a post in forever, man. I didn't even remember there was this thing called post for a month. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I received it through mail. <clears throat> Got it. And uh, so that I can add more information in your hands, what is your email? Um, I don't remember. That's fine. Well, thank you for sharing this information with me. 
Uh, I would like to I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate forty percent off your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Certainly. Okay, perfect. Um, hello, this is Miguel ID zero two, and I have Sam on the line with me. Contact number three four five six, and um, he did not um, provide the information about the bank and the email as well. I did. Um, I, said said local bank. I said local bank. Oh yeah. Oh. I see. Could I start? Should I start again? Yes, please. Okay. So when I when that person said local bank, you just mean mm -hmm. a bank in their area. You know what I mean? It doesn't like. Um, can you tell me a name of a city where you live? Aguna. Aguna. Okay. Like for example, lo a local bank in Aguna, which means a bank in Aguna. You just wish not to tell me the exact bank. Got it. Yeah. So you just said local, like. Local, here, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, go again. Okay. Hello, this is Miguel, ID02, and I have a Sam on the line with contact number 3456 and currently uses a local back. Uh, he um, wasn't able to provide, I mean, he receives his statements by mail and would definitely well, like to save money on their merchant services. I'll go ahead and um, tr uh, transfer the call now. Thank you. Okay, well, actually, it said, would you like to take it from, can you take it from here? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I said I would transfer the call now. Yeah, but you're already in the transfer. <laughs> so, okay. At this point in time, you should said, can you take it from here? Okay. So, Did you, like you, you mm -hmm. so go ahead and ask me, because... You don't know if I'm busy or not, so go ahead and ask. You need to ask that question. Can you take it from here? Yes. Okay, I'll go yeah. ahead and, you know, I'll exit okay. off the call. That's basically what you're supposed to say. I'll exit off the call now. Because <clears throat> it's going to be on three ways. The customer is going to be able to hear you. He's going to be able to hear you. And you're just telling them exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and just start from top again. Say, hello, this is Miguel. Okay. Hello, this is Miguel, ID02, and I have Sam on the line with contact number 3456 and currently uses his local bank. He receives their statement via mail and would definitely like to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Certainly. Perfect. Um, Great. I will exit off the call now. Mm -hmm. Miguel, I have a quick question for you before you go, okay? Sure. <laughs> Are you, uh, the room that you're in, do you have other people around you? No. You're home. Are you home? Yes. Okay, so here's the thing. I, I hope everyone has this off. Here's the thing, guys. Pretend like you know no one on this call, and it's just you and the decision maker, so don't get nervous. So that way you can, you can monitor the entire conversation. A lot of you guys are nervous because you, you think there's a lot of people listening to you, but pay them no mind. You know what I mean? Just pretend like no one. It's just you and the decision maker, and <laughs> you mean you need to get it done. That's it. So just pay the decision maker, no, just pay everyone else no mind but the decision maker. No need for any nervous. If you get nervous, it's okay. No one is going to make fun of you. No one is going to laugh at you and say, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Albert, keep messing up. Yeah, no. No one is going to do that. Maybe after you get off the call, they probably make fun of you. But while we're here, no one is going to do that. <clears throat> so you just go ahead and, you mean, be your best. Be your best. Always put your best foot forward. Um, <clears throat> I think we've done enough trading where everyone should have this pattern if you're following along. Every one of you guys should have this down to the T at this point. So <clears throat> next person, thanks for your help again, Miguel. Welcome. Good job. Next person. Okay, so mark one. Mark one is done. Uh, mark two is done. I'm not done. Um, okay. Go ahead, Jit. <coughs> go mark ahead, one. Mark one, quick question. Okay. How many people do you have? Um, 11. How many of your people have, um, already went? Hello? 11, sir. 
Sorry. Yeah, how many of your people already went? Right now, um, there are 11, sir. So all of them? This is the last one? Uh, no, um, I think there's more, th uh, like three or uh, four persons here that was to volunteer to be next. Okay, because here's why I'm asking the question. <clears throat> I want to go with each group at a time, so that way I know exactly, like, okay, so 11 from Mark 1. I just want to do year 11, and after I'm finished with year 11, I want to do Mark 2, you know what I mean? People, and then after I'm finished with Mark 2, if there's anyone else, I want to just go through with them. <clears throat> Does that make sense to you, Mark 1? Yes, sir. So, um, so far, what, four or five, five of your people? You know, except for Albert, uh, you know, everyone knows who he is. <clears throat> except for him. Does um, four or five of your people already went? Yes, sir. Okay. How many is it? Four or five? Wait, let me check. <coughs> uh, it's four. You said four, correct? Yes. So you have the total of seven remain that needs to go, correct? No, sir. Oh, poor sir. Oh, you have four more more left to go. Yeah, four more okay. uh, yes. agents are not uh, uh, haven't uh, take the training yet. Okay, yes, perfect. Sir. All right, all right. So go ahead and call. Let's call those four up. We're gonna use those four. Yeah. Uh, Jean, gonna... can you? Are you there? Yes. Yes. Uh, you can start now. All right. Start from the top. Hello, my name is Jin. May I talk with decision maker? You're talking about decision maker. Hello, Mr. Brown. My name is Jin with Digitech Payment. Uh, um, Mr. Brown no longer works here. May I talk with decision maker? You're speaking with a decision maker. It's be all right. May I know if what your name, sir? Excuse me. May I know your name, sir? What is your name? You're the one who called. My name is Jin with, with Digitech Payments. Okay, hi, Jin. Hello, sir. May I know your name, sir? Sure, not really, Jin. Can you start back from top again? The same, that, that's, what, <clears throat> that's what we're coaching Miguel about just now. So let's go again from top, okay? Jean? Okay, sir. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> All right, Jean. So here's how it works. Um, one, you're going to send... Once I said, you're going to say ring, ring. I'm going to say hello. Once I said hello, you're going to go ahead and said, um, I need to speak to the person who's responsible for your merch account. Okay, sir. I'm so sorry. Yeah. And then Can after I tell you, me? hello. Hello. My name is Jen. May I talk with decision maker? Nope. Um, the boss is not in today. I can give you his email. Jean, <coughs> did yes, I hello? lose you? Did I lose you? From the top, sir. From the top. Okay, go again. I'm a little bit nervous. I know, I know. A lot of you guys are. Um, there's no need to be nervous. Come on, it's just me and you. There's no one else around. <coughs> it's just me and you. Hello. May I talk with this? Is your name? Ring, ring. Hello. Hello, my name is Jin. May I talk with decision maker? Well, the decision maker is not in um, right now. I haven't seen the decision maker in a couple of years since I've been working here. So you probably need to, you know, get his personal information. I don't know how you're going to receive that. <laughs> You see, when you call a company asking for a decision maker, you call, you're asking for a CEO. <clears throat> the CEO is a total different person compared to the person who's responsible for the merchant account. A merchant account is someone who they hire to take care of that. You think the CEO from... Um, 
excuse me, <coughs> do you think the CEO for, you think Jeff Bezos know who the merchant worker is? <laughs> you think, do you think um, Bill Gates know who his merchant worker is? You know what I mean? Do you think the CEO for Walmart know who the merchant worker is? They don't. They have no idea who those people are. Those people are just some people in their company that works for them. So you need to ask the questions as it is, okay? So let's go back over it again. We're going to start from top. And you're going to go to your, <clears throat> your script. So the first thing you need to do is go to your, um, your secretary's script. Are you there? Yeah, here. Yeah, now, um, Jean? Yes, sir. Okay, so go back to the secretary script. Okay. And when I said hello, you're going to read number one to me, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Hello? <clears throat> hello, sir. My name is Jean. Nope, stop. You don't see my name is there. Come on. Come on, Jean. Come on, Jean. <clears throat> I'm trying to help you to go easier, to get in easier to, with the decision maker. Okay? <clears throat> Start again. Say good morning. I need to speak with the person who's responsible for your merchant account and who will that be? And stop it right there. Excuse me for a quick second, Jean. Hello? Yeah, hang on a second. He'll be back. Hang on a second. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. Gene? Okay. Gene, are you ready? Gene? She's on mute. I'll remove your eyes. There you go, Jean. Ready? Sir, it's Bill, right? From the top? Yes, I want you to start from the top because you need to you need to break it through first, okay? So, Jean, it's, okay. what you're going to say, it's, <clears throat> it's very simple. If I said hello, good afternoon, or good morning, um, it's very simple. Just said good morning, good afternoon. I need to speak to the person who's responsible for your merchant account. And who will that be? And stop, wait. And once I say it's me, then you introduce your name. My name is yes. Jean, and what is yours? Okay? Okay, sir, I got it. Okay, let's go again. <clears throat> Hello? Ring. ring, ring. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. My name is Jean, can we talk with the... <clears throat> okay, Jean, you're not introducing your name, Jean. <clears throat> you're not going to introduce your name. You're going to ask questions first. I know it's in all of us to be polite and nice, but sadly in sales you have to be ruthless. Fearless. That's the only way you're going to break through the ice. So you want to start from the top again, Jean? 
<coughs> Jean. Hello. Yes. All right. Go ahead and um. Are you are you looking at the decision makers? Are you looking at the secretary's script? Yes, sir. Can you read number one for me, please? Good morning. Yeah, keep going. Good morning. I need to speak the decision maker. Nope, that's not what it said. It said good morning. I uh, it said good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who will that be? There you go. So start again. <clears throat> Good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for the merchant account and who would be that. Okay, perfect. That's good job. So I'm going to go ahead and say that would be me. So go ahead and introduce yourself now. So my name is Jean. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Jean. And what is yours? From the Digitech payment, sir. No, 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 no. You're going to say, my name is Jean, and what is yours? So you can get my name. Okay, sir. Hello, good morning. <coughs> Hello. My, na my name is Jean. It's not Jean. Do we lost Jean? 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 <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay, so <clears throat> I know English is not your first language. Correct? All right, sir. It's, it's not a lot of us first language, trust me. Um, <clears throat> but see, if you want someone to respond to you, you have to know how to ask the questions, when to ask the questions, and they will respond to you. Does that make sense to you? <clears throat> Jean? She's again going on mute. You need to unmute yourself, Jean. Oh, let's do uh, let's do this um, uh, let's let's let her listen to more of our mock calls role play okay and then she and can come a little on okay someone else um yeah. mark one uh okay um let's how about geraldine are you there geraldine yes okay um please okay should i start now Yes, whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, wait, excuse me, are we going to use the secretary script or the direct? No, uh, no, maker? we're not using the secretary because I realize a lot of people, for the secretary, it's not a problem. Okay, it's not a problem to break the secretary. But what if right. the secretary don't un answer the phone? What if a decision maker answer the phone? Because a lot of decision makers do answer the phone. All right, okay. So we're going to just use this for now. Um, go ahead when you're ready. Okay, okay ring, ring. Hello. Good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant merchant account and who would that be? That would be me. Oh, that's great. Um, this is Geraldine with Digitech Payments. May I know your name? Um, it's Tom. <clears throat> Hi, Tom. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate that you're taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are 
contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40 percent. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. To determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind, Tom. Sure. Can I ask about that chips first? Sure. <laughs> Are you eating <laughs> chips? What's going on? <laughs> uh, go ahead and ask me the questions. All right. <laughs> I'm nervous. Sorry. Okay, just to confirm, you are indeed the, the one that looks after the merchant account for the business? Yes. Okay, great. Who are you currently processing with? That would be Chase. Great. Hey, when you don't even... Sorry. When they no, send you... you... Hold on, hold on. Jody. Jody. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you smacking in the background. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot to mute. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 no, I, I was... I was having a little snack. No, I didn't have anything in the morning. I mean, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Please carry hey, sorry, guys. I, no, I want to take a lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> kind of small meal, yeah. <laughs> uh, you always have excuses, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's the one who have cheap. Come on, yeah. I have been, I've been sitting here for almost three hours. You know, more than three hours, in fact. <laughs> Without saying a word, kind of. I'm so sorry, yeah. Please carry on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, you're, you're, Tom, you're, when you're, sorry, number three, yeah, number three. Yes, so Tom, when they send you your statement, do they send it to you online or through mail? Mail. <clears throat> All right, through mail. So that I can add more information in your hands, what is your email? That's brown at gmail.com. All right, brown at gmail.com. Okay, thank you for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Yes. Perfect. All right, ring, ring. Hello, this is Geraldine, ID 02. I have Tom on the line with contact number 123 and currently use, uses Chase. He receives their statement via, um, via mail and would like to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> Good job. Great. I, I, I will exit of the call now. Thank you. Good job. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Who's next? What's um, Mark next? One. No, for what? Why are you nervous? Uh, Mark <laughs> One, who's that? Uh, yeah, um, are you ready, uh, Ed Ah, uh, Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, sir, there's no secretary, right? No, it's just you and me. Okay, okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. I need to speak with a person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? That would be me. Oh, great. Hi there. This is Lynn with Digitech Payments. Can I have your name, please? Certainly. Uh, my name is Jim. Oh, hi there, Jim. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40 percent. Excuse Our me. Goal is um, to help. Excuse me, Lynn? Yes? How are you going to help me to save money on my merchant accounts? Well, to determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Sure, go ahead. First, I uh, just wanted to confirm you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business, right? Yes. 
great. Who are you currently processing with? That would be Chase. Great. When they send you your statement, do they send it to you online or through the mail? Um, both. Both. Perfect. So that I can add more information in your hands, what is your email address, please? I wish not to say. That's fine. Not a problem. Thank you so much for the information. Um, well, I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% off your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Well, I thought you were the one who was going to help me. Well, I... Sorry, sir. I got lost. <laughs> unfortunate, uh, unfortunate, I can't make any decision in that area. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay. Well, all right, you know what? I'm going to ask you another question. Another question. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible for you to call me back later where we can discuss a little bit more about this? Well, I respect that. We would like to provide you with more details about how you can save money on your current merchant services. We have very competitive rates, and we will offer you the lowest on the market without sacrificing the excellent services you are entitled to. I will just connect you with our specialists, and they can answer all your questions. Will that be all right with you? Of course, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I'll go ahead and transfer you right now. Just one moment, please. You go ahead and connect me right now, not transfer. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Lynn with ID number 02, and I have Jim on the line with the contact number 12345. And currently uses Chase processor. He receives their statement both via online and mail and would like to save money on their merchant services. By the way, his email address... Nope, stop. Go ahead and ah, just okay. say you would like to save money on his merchant account. Is that okay with you? Go ahead. Ah, okay. You take and would like to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Yes. So, Lynn, you didn't, you didn't mention the email before, so don't mention it again once you're trying to get off, okay? Ah, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, here's the thing, Lynn. Um, from start to finish... You do sound like you're studying all the rebuttals, so <laughs> that's why mm -hmm. I, I tossed you off guard there just now. I forgot we're actually just using one rebuttal. <laughs> so, <laughs> good job. You know, for a minute, you actually sound like someone who's been doing this for a while. That's why I actually start to throw more questions out there anyway. So, good job. Okay. You just just study the, study the rest of the rebuttal. This is the only part I would say you need to work on. Study the rest of the rebuttals. And um, <clears throat> so when you run into a tough decision maker, you can break the ice a lot smoother. Does that make sense? Well, not really break the ice a lot smoother, but you can ask, <laughs> ask, with the ask more questions, you can answer. Okay, sure, sir. I will. I will. All right. Mark one. Okay, um, Aleya, are you ready? She's ready to go to work. She just <laughs> need a rebuttal. <laughs> yes, hello, I'm ready. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear it. Just say ring ring whenever you're ready. <clears throat> okay, ring ring. Hello. Hello, good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? That would be me. Okay, that's good. Hello, this is Leia with Digitech Payment Payments. May I know who's on the line? Uh, <clears throat> this is Tim. Hello, Mr. Tim. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use, business to use when things return to normal. To determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions if you don't mind okay just to confirm mr tim you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account account for yes. the business right yes okay that's great uh who are you currently processing with a local bank local bank okay that's great uh when they send you your statement, do they send it to your online or through mail? 
I wish not to say. Okay. It's okay. Um, so that I can add more information on your hands, what is your email? I wish not to say. Okay. That's all right. Uh, thank you for sharing this information with me, Mr. Tim. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rate and fees. Would that be all right with you? <clears throat> yes. Okay. One moment. Okay. Ring, ring. Go ring, on. ring. <clears throat> Hello, this is... Leia, ID 02, and I have here Mr. Tim on the line with contact number 123 and currently uses local bank. And he wished not to say his. Um, how he received the statement. How would that be? <laughs> um, what would be the best word to say that, sir? Uh, how to how he received his statement. Ah, okay. So it must be he wish not to say, say how he receives the statement. statement. Okay. And just go ahead and okay. take anything from here. Okay. And would like to save money on the merchant services. Can you take it from here? Perfect. Yes. Great. So, um, will... so, like, for example, I didn't give you my email address. So it doesn't really make sense to even bring it up at this point, right? You just, you're just trying to get in and get out. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Copy. Yeah. So good job. Good job. Um you just need to have your rebuttals ready. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next person. Mark one. Hi. You have one, Hi, yes. one or two people. Uh, only one only one sir. Okay. Uh, I believe Jin is ready. You undo that Jin. Ready when you are, Jean? Yes, sir. I am. Ring, ring. Hello. Good morning. My name is Jean. I need to speak with the person responsible for the merchant account. And who will that be? That would be me. That will be great, sir. May I know your name, sir? No. I'm sorry, sir. What is again? I said no. I, I wish not to give you my name. <clears throat> what is this call about? <clears throat> Jean? <clears throat> name. What's your name again, sir? I never give you my name, and I'm not going to give you my name. That's not how you're going to receive my name, okay? Okay, Jean, can you hear me? You keep muting yourself. I just want to address you properly. I understand, but Jean, you, you cannot mute yourself while I'm talking to you, okay? It's just me and you in the room, and if you mute yourself, you're, I'm not going to be able to understand if you understand what I'm saying to you. Does that make sense? So, remove your hands... From the keyboard, remove your hands off the mute button. <clears throat> so, are you listen to what I'm saying now. Do not introduce your name first, okay? Okay. Jean? Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't need to know your name as yet. What I need you to do is very simple. Just say good morning. I need to speak to the person who's responsible for your merchant account. And who will that be? And once I tell you that's me, you're going to introduce your name for the first time. Tell them who your name is and ask them what your name is. Do you understand what I'm saying now? I have a better one, I have a better one for you. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> mark one. Uh, yes, sir. Um, do you do you know what language is Gene number one language? Uh, 
Yes, sir. Do you, do you speak it? Yes. Okay, do you think you can translate to her what I just said in her language? Is that she can... Okay, sí. Alea. Ay, ay, Alea, sorry, sorry. Ajit. Jean. Jean, um... Huwag mo daw sabihin, yung sa may opening, di ba yung, ano, yung nag-introduce ko, huwag mo daw sabihin yung pangalan mo. And then, um, kapag sinabi mo na yung pangalan mo, saka, doon mo na lang sa katanungin yung pangalan niya. Doon mo na lang i... Uh, doon mo na lang rin i-revatch yung pangalan niya. Okay? Okay po, sir. Ah, uh, sige, sabihin mo lang ganito, di ba? Hello, good morning. Tapos huwag mo na sabihin yung pangalan mo. Tapos tanongin mo kagad yung in-charge. Okay? Okay, uh, okay ba, Jean? Na gets na natin. Thank, thank you, Mark One. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, Jean, are you ready? Jodeep, you're on, you're off mute. So sorry. Thank you, thank you Jodeep. It's okay. Jean, are you ready? Jean? Jean? Uh, she seems to be very nervous. Yep, she's very nervous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why her, uh, to do, yeah, to the last that's then. Why, yeah, that's why. Let I try her listen to a few more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I try to. No, help you've her. tried. You've. No, Jody. You see, the thing you need to keep in mind. Um, <clears throat> like for example, English is probably not her first language, right? So, mm -hmm. right. Like what I have, Mark one did just now explain it to her in you know, in her language. So that way, she can process it in mm -hmm. her head and. Give it to me back in English. Mm -hmm. Does that make mm -hmm. sense to you? Mm -hmm. Right, right. All right, all right. So, Mark one. <clears throat> yes, sir. Is that it for you for right now? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so Leia and Jean, you guys can go ahead and mute yourself. Mark two, you're up. Okay, we'll go for um, Namisha. Namisha. Okay, who's Namisha with? Yo, deep. Uh, okay. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's uh, she's she's very new to this, and she is from a very different trade. So, and she is, you know, she was being uh, sending me messages. She's very nervous, you know, especially after uh, <laughs> Jean. <laughs> so, <yeah>. so I <laughs> I need to I need to be hard on her. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna be. Tough. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Namisha, you're up. Ah. Okay. Fine. So do we start? Yes, we'll say ring ring whenever you're ready. Okay. Ring ring. Hello. Hello. Mm. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account mm -hmm. and who would that be? That would be me. Oh. Leia, can you mute yourself no, please? Leia? Uh, should I sh should I start from beginning? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah, start from the beginning. Sorry about that, Misha. Ring, ring. Hello. Good morning. Uh, I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account, and who would be? The that would be me. Okay. My name is Nimisha, and what's yours? It's John. Hello, Mr. John. Uh, I am calling from uh, Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses uh, to reduce your rates and fees by 20 to 40 percent. Our goal is to help uh, put money back into your business uh, to use uh, when things return to normal. To determine exactly okay. how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Okay, I was just about to ask you how you're going to be able to save me. Well, okay, sure, go ahead and ask me the question. Uh, just to confirm, um, you are indeed the one who uh, looks after the merchant account for the business, right? Yes. Uh, who are you currently processing with? I wish not to say. 
uh, that's fair enough. Uh, uh, when uh, they send you your statement, do they send it to you uh, or through email or through mail? Mail. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so that I can add more information in your hands, what is your email? It's um, <clears throat> brown at gmail.com. Okay, thank you, Mr. Brown, uh, Mr. Uh, John. Uh, thank you for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you uh, to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Um, is it possible for you to call me back later? Uh, sir, I absolutely uh, respect your uh, time. Uh, but uh, we would like to provide you with more details about how you can save money on your current uh, merchant services. We have very competitive rates and we will offer you the lowest on the market without sacrificing the excellent services you are entitled to. I will just connect you to our specialist and they can answer to your uh, questions. Would that be all right with you? Sure. Ring, ring. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, uh, this is ID02 and uh, I have Mr. John online with me. Uh, his contact number is 12345 and uh, he wishes not to share uh, with us the processor. Uh, he re receives his statement uh, via mail and his email ID is brown at gmail.com and would like to save money on his merchant services. Can you take it from here? Yes. Good job. Good job. Um, <clears throat> Great. I'll good. exit of the call now. Thank you. So that's pretty good. Jody. Jody. Jody is missing. Jody is missing. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> so I know you said she is nervous, but she didn't sound nervous for a minute. <laughs> she she is also a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't, she didn't okay. sound so I was for a minute. <laughs> thank yeah, you, Shamal. Yeah. <laughs> Shamal, if I'm not wrong, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, thank in, you, Shamal. I'm thank Indian. you. I'm Indian, so. Uh, yeah, that uh, that information was given to me by Jaydeep to motivate me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, the only I was, Indian. In the monk. Yeah, I was just never. I've never visit India. I was never born in India. That's really but, bad. Yeah, That's really India. bad. You should. <laughs> I know. <laughs> at least <laughs> after the situation. At least after one and a half year, not now. Well, here's the thing. Um, for my grandparents, I keep asking, them, but they wish, uh, you know, they go back. What they keep convincing me is that it's hot and I'm afraid of it. Eat. I am afraid. No, no, eat. it's absolutely nothing like that. Uh, I'm from actually to my background is tourism. But uh, at the moment, we cannot welcome you to India, and especially not anybody from US side. I don't think we can even welcome you. <laughs> <anywhere laughs> <in the world. laughs> I don't think we're welcome to go anywhere in the world at this time. <laughs> I think we literally have to stay home. Like right now, I want to go to Canada because um, my, my grandmother is actually in the hospital and I want to go to Canada and I can't because she's actually in Canada at this point. And I can't because okay. the border are close. So it's very difficult for me to even fly over there right now. But, you know, um, the only time I really leave, it's mainly to go to the West Indies to watch cricket. Okay. Stuff like that. So, but yeah, I've never really been to India. Which is sad. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, my grandparents. Please do come. Here. Please do come. Yeah. Yes, I hope so. Jody, well, Jody, been invite me. So whenever the, <laughs> whenever things get sure, back to normal. Sure, we're from the northeast. And, yeah, we're from the northeast. I mean, the most beautiful people in India. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> most hospitable. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah beautiful in a sense. Like Jody, beautiful on all sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. According to Jody, when things return to normal. I will sit on a plane for what? Is it 20 hours, Jody? 13 hours? It's a long flight, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it, it is. Indeed. It, it is. It's not it is. that long, I believe. Uh, is it that long, Amisha? Uh, I think um, like uh, Indian Airlines have uh, got a direct flight uh, which uh, flies from San Francisco and I am not very sure from New York too, which uh, takes around 18 well, hours. Well, I know from here I have to leave um, from DC to England or Dubai. Okay. Yeah, that is Dubai. another route, yes. And, yeah. um, Dubai, England, in... and Dubai, oh, right. Because I, I did look it up. I look it up because like, a few times I have to purchase a ticket for them to come to England. And all I know is that now you're getting into her months. trade. 
Yeah, now, <laughs> yeah, now you're getting into her trade. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but um, good job. Who's next? Thank you, Jody. Any more? That's no, it. no, no one, no one from my team. Yeah. Okay, that's it for everyone. So I'll unmute all so that uh, let's see if it's not a mess. What about um, what there is still unmute, some um, in Jose's um, team? Excuse me. Um, there are three agents left in Jose's team. Okay, so Jose's team. Okay, Irish, can you go ahead and introduce those agents one by one? So we can go with them. So Irish, you're you are the one who's in charge for Jose's team. As um, actually, I am not, but <laughs> I'm just the one who's here. I think. Um, okay, so let's go to. Um, I can go. Um, I can go first. Okay. Okay. Go first. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Can we start? Sorry. Hello. Can we start? Yes, we can. Just say ring, 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 ring. Okay. Thank you. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Um, this is Honey. I would like. To, um, I want to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? That would be me. All right. Thank you. Yeah, by the way, my name is Honey. And um, what is your what What is yours? It's Tim. Tim. Hi, Tim. Um. Yeah. By the. Hello, Tim. Um. This is Honey with Digitech Payments. Well, so my company. Honey, stop. That's the third time you say your name. That's the third time. You oh, say I'm sorry. Your name. <clears throat> so right. let's start um, again. Yeah, okay. A moment. Okay. All right. Ring, ring. Hello? Hi, good morning. I need to speak with the person who's responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? That would be me. Hi. Um, my name is Honey. And what is yours? It's Tim. <laughs> Hello, Tim. I'm with Digitech Payments, and my company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. So due to the global situation right now, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help out money back into your business to use when things return back to normal. Um, to determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions if you don't mind. All right. Sure. Um, just to confirm, uh, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business. Yes. Thank you. So who are you currently processing with? Chase. Thank you for those information. When they send you your statement, do you send it to your or do they send it to your online or through the mail? Online. <laughs> Thank you. So that I can add more information in your, um, in your hands. What is your email? Um, it's brown at gmail.com. <clears throat> Thank you for, uh, for, for providing me those information. And um, I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% off your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Yes. Perfect. So ring, ring. Hello. Hello this Hello this is Hani ID number 02 and I have Tim on the line with contact number 12345 and currently uses Chase. He receives their sta um his statement via online and would like to save money on their merchant service on his merchant services. Can you take it from here? Sounds good. Perfect. <clears throat> good job. Great. Um, Hani. You don't have Thank to say you. good. Oh, we all know what you're going to say, okay? <laughs> um, good job. So, <coughs> I didn't mean to be hard on you in the first place, where I said, you know, you say your name three times, and I realized the way you go back and you change it, you come back normal, okay? <laughs> okay. So, that's how you want to introduce yourself to a decision maker when you started off. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, even when you know the person's name, you know his name is Tim. You know, it's good to say, hi, Tim, this is Annie. And I'm with Digitech Payment. And, you know, for me, I was like, I ask people, how is your day going? You know, I, and I'm not talking to secondary. I'm talking about decision maker. Because if the decision maker says, oh, my, my day is great, 
it means that this person is in a nice mood and you want to go to their vibes real quick. You want to go up real quick. Oh, that's great. Um, I'm here to, well, you know, at that point, I'm like, that's great. So my name is Hanny, and I'm with Digitech Payment. My company requested that because, you know, he said, I'm great. It's good. So, you know, if he said my day has been bad, then, uh, okay, cool. Um, sorry to hear that. I hope everything get better at the end of our call. You jump right in there. Does that make sense? Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, good job. Thank you. <coughs> um, Mark, two. Nope, not Mark. No, we're not doing Mark yet. We're doing Jose, right? Jose. Mark 2, yes. No, not um, Mark 2. We're, we're, we're doing not. Jose's team. Yeah, we're doing Jose's team. Sorry, Irish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next is Felice. Felice. Hello. Hi. Okay. Uh, shall we proceed? Yes. Okay. Um, Ringling. Hello. Um, good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? <clears throat> that would be me. Okay, great. This is Fel, and your name is? Jim. Hello, Jim. Um, I'm with Digitech Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. To determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions, if you don't mind. Sure. <clears throat> Okay, just to confirm, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business? I think I'm get, making you go a lot too easy, but yes. Okay. I think I could push my way. <clears throat> okay, who are you currently processing with? Chase. Okay, thank you for that information. When they send you your statement, do they send it to you online or through the mail? Both. <clears throat> Okay, thank you for that information. Um, I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? No, I'm a bit busy. Is it possible for you them to come back later? I Are respect you... that. Okay, okay go ahead. Tim. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, I respect that. We would like to provide you with more details about how you can save money on your current merchant services. We have very competitive rates and we will offer you the lowest on the market without sacrificing the excellent services you're entitled to. I will just connect you with our specialists and they can answer all your questions. Would that be all right with you? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, hello, this is Fel, ID02, and I have... Mr. Tim on the line with contact number 12345 and currently uses Chase. He receives, their, uh, he receives a statement via online and mail and would like to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Okay, so Fel? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Uh, for people like you, I should have, I'm not trying to be rude, but I should have asked you like a million more questions. The reason why I say that is because um, one, you very, it show that you're studying the script, all right? I can tell by how you read the script. You are studying the script. You, I mean, you, you start to make the script become a part of you already. Um, so you are mastering the script at this point. So I should have asked you a lot more questions and see, get, you know, pull more information from you, if that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I'm just nervous. <laughs> really? Sure fool everyone on this call. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you though. Uh, good job. Yeah, I um next next time, Phil. Don't worry. Ed. Next time, next time, I'm gonna be asking a billion more questions. So you don't wanna get on my radar again. Okay. <laughs> a bad customer to you next time, so that way you can figure your way out. <laughs> okay, so I'll be ready right. for that. Thank you. All right, good. Iris, Iris. Um, yes. Uh, the last is Genevieve. Okay. Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay. ring ring. Hello? Good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who would that be? 
Who is calling? Uh, uh, certainly, this is Sam, and your name is? <clears throat> My name is Timothy. Um, oh, hi, what, Timothy. Um, what are you calling about? Oh, um, well, um, I'm calling, um, we are updating our information and you need to get some information, uh, verifications and I'll wait, uh, while you could direct, um, direct my call. Thanks. Okay. Um, sure. Let me go ahead and direct your call right now. Okay. <clears throat> your call, your call is direct. Let's see what you can do. Hello. Hello, this is um, Sam with Digital pay Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. I'm sorry. Can I go, go back? Sure. Um, I, I think I missed something. Hmm? Sure. Go back. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Can 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 we um restart again? Certainly. Where do you want to start from? Let me know. Um, from the top or from the first um script? From the first script. Yes. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Bring me whenever we're ready. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. Ring ring. Hello. Yes, good morning. I need to speak with the person responsible for your merchant account. And who will that be? <clears throat> um, who is this? Uh, yes, this is Sam. And your name is? Timothy. Um, Sa Sam, what are you calling about? Oh, yes. Uh, we are updating our information and I need to get some verifications. Uh, um, do I need to speak with um, regarding this? Um, who nope. would I need to speak with regarding this? Yes, there you go. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and answer the are. So at this point, I ask you <clears throat> the question. I really ask you is, what are you calling about? So you could say, I'm calling about your merch account, mm -hmm. and just leave it right there. But that's mm -hmm. good information. What you said, you know, you're updating your information. You need some verification. So go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Go ahead. <clears throat> start from start from where we we are updating our information. Start from there. Okay, so we are calling about your uh, your merchant account, and who do I need to speak with regarding this? Oh, that would be Paul. Paul, all right. So uh, I'll wait while you direct my call. Thanks. Okay, good job. <laughs> good job. All right, you're talking to Paul. Hello. Uh, hello, this is Sam with Digital Payments. My company requested that I contact you personally. I appreciate you taking my call. Well, due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40 percent. And our main goal is to help put money back in your business to use when things return to normal. To direct exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple of quick questions if you don't mind. Okay. Um, just to confirm, um, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account for the business? Yes. <clears throat> okay. So um, who are you currently processing with? That would be Toronto Dominion. Toronto Dominion. All right. So when they send you your statement, do they send it online or uh, mail? Both. Okay, so that um, so Paul, um, so I can add more information in your hands. What is your email address? I wish not to say. Okay, that's all right. Well, thank you so much for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate forty percent off your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Not really. Um, I'm a bit busy, so. How about you go ahead and call me back in the next two or three hours from now? Oh. oh, well, I respect that, Paul, but I would like to provide you with more details how 
you can save money on your current merchant service. We have very competitive rates and we will offer you the lowest on the market without sacrificing the excellent services you are entitled to. I will just connect you with our specialist and they can answer all your questions. Would that be all right with you? Sure. Sure, hold on. Let me um, connect you through. Okay. Hello, this is Sam, ID02, and I have um, Mr. Paul on the line with contact number 1234, and um, um, the processor, um, he wish not to say, um, he receives the, um, no, uh, yes, um, the processor is um, Toronto Dominion, um, and he receives a statement um, that he wish not to say, but would like to save money on their merchant service. Can you take it from here? Certainly. <clears throat> Great. I will accept of the call now. Thank you. Okay. Good job. Um, <clears throat> very good job. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Thank you, sir. Irish, do you have anyone else? Um, no. Um, she's the last one. So, very done for our team. You said what for her, your team? Try it again. All done. Um, um, wait. Yeah, we are only eight, uh, five, so we are all done. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Um, <clears throat> Mark two. Yes. Um, can it? Can you try your mic again? You said you want to do what now? Um, can it? Can it is the last agent. Okay, Kenneth. Okay, go ahead. Kenneth? Can you try yeah, again yeah. your mic? Kenneth? No, he has uh, just messaged. He, uh, he is speaking, but we are not able to hear him. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, is there anyone else? Mark, too, do you have anyone else? Uh, that's all on my team. Okay, and I know Mark one doesn't have anyone else. Joe Deep? Uh, no, no one for me. Okay, so we're all done? Yes, I believe we're all done. Only Kenneth left. And... Uh, I believe, uh, Kenneth, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. So, yeah. Mark, Mark too, Kenneth is on your team, correct? Yes. Um, I think we've done enough role play today where you should be able to coach him a little bit, you know, one-on-one -on -one over the phone and maybe, does that, you know, where you could be able to hear him. Does that make sense to you? Okay, no problem. Okay, good. And, uh, Mark, one? I, uh, um, I have one, sir. Sorry. Origin. Yeah, so for Gene, I would say try to see if you can coach her in, you know, in the language that you, you know, she speaks first. And then after that, you bring it to her in English. Okay. Yeah, and see if that could help. Um, <clears throat> anyone have any questions before I go? Hold on. Yeah, I still I uh, oh, hi, I do have a few questions if you are comfortable. Yes, I am very comfortable answering questions. So hold on real quick before you start asking. Andre, are you able to hear us? Andre? <coughs> yeah, I'm here. But... Okay, perfect. Um, someone have TV playing their background. Can you mute yourself? Andre, can you hear me loud and clear? Yeah, I can, but the internet it keeps going in and out here. I don't know what's the issue with it today. Okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> do you want to, Andre, can you unmute yourself for me real quick, please? <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. Do you want to try to role play right now or you want to wait till later? I'll wait until later when the internet okay, is so a bit better because I. I I could hardly hear most things that were said. I, I, I catch some, but most things I missed out. Okay, gotcha. So um, feel free to, we, 
you know, we'll be having training tonight at eight o'clock. Your time, okay? Okay, no problem. All right. It's, yeah. So tonight at eight o'clock your time. We'll be having training. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Can he say that uh, he can hear us, but we cannot hear him? Okay. All right. Who's next? All right. So. I believe we are all Let done. Can, I, can we check? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead. Let me see. You say you have some questions for me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, very uh, simple questions. Like uh, in between in one of the mocks, you told that if somebody wants to pull back, like if the person concerned wants to pull back and we have to really restrict him, even uh, after like it's basically the rebuttal, even if after we tell that uh, we are giving him the best of rates, if he says no, then what is like the rule from your... And like, well, I would say <clears throat> if the person said no, it's the only reason why they said no at that point is if and they won't just say no, they'll probably say I have to go into a business call, I have to do something important. So that's the only yeah. reason why. Okay, yeah. right there. So <clears throat> after that, you could say, okay, when so you say would be the best. Another day. Yeah, well, it's not really another okay. day because if you can call that person back in ten five minutes. You need to do that. So you'd ask the question though. When is the best time for me to contact you know, call you back? Uh, you can call me back in 20 minutes. Okay, cool. That means that it would, it would be out of that, whatever they would be doing, they would be done by then to you know, finish up the conversation with you by then. So in the next, <clears throat> in the next um, you know, 10, 30 minutes later, you call them back and you would say, hi, Tim. This is Namisha again. How are you okay. doing? Great. So okay. I, would like to go, okay. I would like to go ahead and connect right. you now because right. you already asked all four questions before. Does that make sense? Okay. And, so you don't and if the email is like tough, and if the email is like tough, we are not able to catch the email because it's not brown or john at the red Gmail, right? So uh, okay. do we use right. any let, phonetic let or something? I was talking to, because I make calls myself, you know, because uh, I don't think it works unless you start making calls yourself. So um, I've made call myself and I talked to this person. Um, her name is huh, Susie. Yeah, her name is okay. Susie. Okay. And she, she gave me an email, and this is not a joke. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to embarrass myself because I have no idea how to pronounce her email <laughs> okay. or, or how to, to um, spell it. So I first I said to her, um, is it possible for you to spell that email for me? That's exactly what I said. It's possible for you to spell it. You know? And okay. she was like, okay. And she was nice enough, and she, she spelled it out. <clears throat> now, okay. when, I, when I went for the transfer, I have no okay. idea how to her email to the rate specialist. I would never do that to the rate specialist. <laughs> so, because I have no idea how to pronounce it, and I'm not going to sit there and spell the entire thing out to him. Does that make sense? So, at that point, I just cut off. I, I, I didn't even try to use an email or anything. I just cut it right. <laughs> so, just like okay. that. So, I would say, <clears throat> I would say, just do stuff like that. Um, if the email is very hard for you to to remember, you, you know, at it. least you need to write it down because it's very important that you write it Absolutely. down. Absolutely. Yeah, Joe Deep is going to be on you. 24-7. Namisha, yeah. I didn't get the email. I didn't get the email, Namisha. Yeah, this is good information talking. I didn't get the email. I didn't get the email. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then, you know, after Jody said that to you five or six times, it started to get annoying. So you're going to start, you want to get your email. So Jody will have to say that to you for a minute or two. You know, it's just like, whatever, Jody. Here's your email. Take it. You know, he, want, he wants it. He needs the email. Right, right Jody? Right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so, once you receive the email, get it for him. Even if you cannot tell the rate specialist exactly what the email is, just get it for Jody. You know, so Jody can have it. Because he <laughs> needs it. Because um, let me show, let me be honest with you, Jody, the person with Jody report to. I don't know if he really tells you. They're mean. They're not nice. Okay. <laughs> right, Jody. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lamisha, um, I have people from you know from England who, who's on my team, right? And that lady explained to them that they're not speaking English, okay? And they're from England. Which is weird. I'm like, uh, that is the real English right there. <laughs> right, English. right. <laughs> Jodi can tell you. <laughs> so she's not nice. So I, I do understand Jodi pain with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I myself, I, I was, I was um, you know, I, I have a altogether somewhere eight to nine years of calling experience, pure calling experience. <laughs> and it has been all over over ten years now I haven't called anyone. So, you know, I would be in the same situation like Jean today if I am to. 
<laughs> right, right. England, Middlesex, English is absolutely different. Yeah, well, yes, because you see, you know, they use words like flat instead of condos or, mm. you know what I mean? They use other words compared, like they would say, you know, for here, we would say, you know, I'm going to go use a bathroom. You know, in English, we'd say bathroom, but for them, they would say potty or, you know, actually, it's, they would say potty or toilet. So it's, it's mm -hmm. you know, I mean, they say words a bit different. So, mm -hmm. right. which is weird, yeah. But at the end of the day, they're saying, they're speaking English, and if they say potty, I know exactly what they're trying to say, the bathroom, or they say the toilet, I know they're trying to say the bathroom. If they say flat, we know it's a condo. So the, the worst part of it is that everyone understands exactly what they're saying. But for her, she's like, I don't understand what you're saying. You know, like all of you guys who earlier who read and all that stuff, you're speaking normal American English and not the British English. So for you guys, it's no problem. You know, <clears throat> but for, for, for him, it was a bit of a problem. So I have to work with him for a while to get his British, you know, just to explain to him in English, American English, so he, he have to the American English. Even though when he was talking to the agents, because Jody listened to a few of his transfers, and even when he was talking to the agents, even though he did the clients, even though he had that British accent with it, he was able right. to go through with, you know, with the American English version, so <laughs> that helps a lot. But um, any more questions for me? No. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry for interrupting, um, but Jean, Jean is uh, already mentioned that she wants to try. Okay, so, so Jean want to go through it again? Um, yes, sir. If All right, okay. Jean. Hello? Yeah, let's say ring ring when you're ready. All right, um, ring ring. Hello? Good afternoon. I need to speak with the person responsible for the merchant account, and who would, who would that be? That would be me. All right, that's great. I uh, may know your name. You didn't tell me your name. My name is Jean. I'm so sorry about that, sir. My name is Jean with Digitech Payments. May I ask for your name as well? Sure, it's Tim. Thank you, Tim. Um, my company requested that I contact you personally, and I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting business to help reduce your rates and fees by 25 to 40%. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. To determine how much we can save you, I need to ask you quick questions if you don't mind. Um, just to confirm. Sure. Thank you so much. Just to confirm, you are indeed the one that looks after the merchant account, correct? Yes. Thank you. And who are you currently processing with? Chase. That's great. And when they send you your statement, do they send it to you online or through the mail? Both. Oh, okay. And... Uh, so that I can add more information in your hands, what is your email? Um, <clears throat> it would be tim at gmail.com. Tim at gmail.com. Thank you so much for sharing this information with me. I would like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% off your rates and fees. Would that be all right with you? Yes. All right, that's great. Um, hello, this is Jean. ID number zero two, and I have team on the line with, with the contact number, and currently uses Chase processor. He receives their statement via online and mail, and would like to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Okay, Jean. <coughs> yes, um, he's gonna say yes, but Jean. Yes, sir. Were you that nervous that you couldn't deliver this the first time? The first, like, five or six times? Yes, sir. I'm so sorry about that. It's I okay. I apologize. No, no need to apologize. It's okay. Um, good job. Thank you, sir. You, you passed the test. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm really sorry about earlier. I'm just too nervous because it's my first time. Well... <clears throat> I, I know I know you I know a lot of you guys are nervous, but you know there's no really need to be nervous, to be honest with you. Just remember they're a normal person, they're your friends, okay? Just like when you talk to your friend, 
um, just talk to them exactly the same way. Just, you know, you know, be more polite and intelligent. You know, we're talking to them exactly the same way because I'm talking to a friend of mine right now. I'm like, you know, <clears throat> normal. I have a normal conversation with him or her. And if I'm talking to you guys, I expect to have a normal conversation with you as well across the line. So that way, when you're talking to anyone, you know what I mean, out of your comfort zone, you just do the exact same thing. Um, <clears throat> if you want to know what I did to get my nervous, my nerve break away, I go to stores. I would go to the stores and I would see a random person just walk up to them and start talking to them like a creep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a creep. I'm surprised they didn't call police on me. But um, <clears throat> that's what I would do. And that's how I, I break that nervousness away. You know, you have to get out your comfort zone. It's easy to lock up in the house all day and, you know, that way. It's easier. Trust me, it's easier. But really and truly, you know, if you want to be the best of it, you have to get out of your comfort zone and, you know, get out there. Meet people for, for a change. I've met back in 2015, <laughs> 14, 15, I've met over a thousand people. I can't even remember their names because there were random people. I just walk up to the store and just introduce myself, start talking to them. And, yeah, you know, we will have a 15-minute conversation. And I'm like, clock, I just have 15-minute conversation with this random person, and I, know who, I don't know who they are, okay? Have yourself a wonderful day, and, I, and I'm out. <laughs> and I'll be, you know, I'll be gone. But that's all why I would do it. And a lot of them would be like, oh, here's my cell phone number. You should call me. You should reach out to me sometime. You know, um, <clears throat> we should go fishing, okay? Um, you know, do you watch football? Yes, I do. I watch football. I love football. I'm a Patriot fan. Okay, great. We should watch a game sometime. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so that's the thing. I would just walk, to, walk up to random people and start talking to them. And, yeah, that's how I do it. So I would say, you know, just to get out of your comfort zone, do that. You know, for any of you guys who, who's in a com- who is very nervous, just walk up to a random stranger, introduce yourself to them, and start talking to them. And see how you feel good after you know, five minutes in that conversation, you're going to feel a lot more comfy. So it's basically the same way you'd be talking to these people. It's just that you're doing on the phone and not in person. So <laughs> there's no really need for nerves. And not just that, but let's kind of bright side. <coughs> if you do have a bad call, a bad customer, um, after that phone is hang up, that person's gone. You know what I mean? That person is gone. You don't have to worry. It's not like you're walking away. You know, just imagine having a bad conversation with someone and you're going to have to walk away. It's going to be a bit awkward. But now here it's a call. So if, if you hang up or they hang up, the person is gone. The badness just went away. So you can start over fresh again. Deep in, breath in, breath out. Let's make a next call. Okay. Yes. Back on it again. And you keep going. You just keep going. Because um, let's be honest, not everyone is going to be nice and polite. Okay. You're going to have a few of those, you know, bad apple. And <clears throat> you, cannot, you cannot let them break you down. You cannot let them get you down. You have to just understand, okay, that's one, you know, I'm better than this. And then you, you literally, you, you just try your best to be the nicest person at any given time. Because I, I remember me personally, I've been in the parking lot and I'm trying to back out the parking lot at Walmart. And this guy, you know, I have his truck and he just flapped me off with his truck. So I, I was like, excuse me, sir, is it possible for you to move your truck so I can get out? And he just went off on me. You know, this dude just went off on me, trying to hit me, all that stuff. And, and all I said to him was, look, can you move your truck so I can leave? And he went off about it. So what I did, I just, I said, I'm sorry if I bother you. You know, I could have go back violent, but I'm not a violent person. So I just explained to him, I'm very sorry if I disturb you. Um, I'll wait until you're done, you know, wait until you're finished with everything. I'm going to go sit in my car and, and wait. And I went back to my car. And less than a minute after that, he came to me and apologized for the way he behaved. And, you know, he was actually having some serious issue that day, you know, because we talked for about 30 minutes after that. So he was having some serious issue that day. So a lot of people are having an issue and they come off like a bad person. But they're really not a bad person. It's just that they're having problems. And a lot of people don't really know how to deal with their frustration. You know what I mean? So they do come off like a jerk. They're not really jerks. They're just having a bad day. I like your house, man. Fan overhead, so is the light. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mark two, that's Kenneth. <laughs> Hi, Kenneth. 
Kenneth, you, um, I think I know what your problem is. Kenneth, can you unplug your headset, your headpiece, and try to speak? <clears throat> Kenneth? No, he's just uh, typing hello. Uh, we still can't hear him. Yeah, okay. Well, I, because I, he, hello? He, he, yeah. There you is, go. Can you hear me? Can I speak? Yes, yes. Speak up, please. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So, Kenneth. Yes. So, sometimes, is that little headphone you're using right now? Hello? The, the, um, the headphone you're using right now. Uh, yes, at this moment. Yes, um, you go ahead and plug it up. Unplug it from your computer. Unplug it from your cell phone, wherever you have it in. Pardon? Remove it from the device. Plug it out from the device. That we use yes, it. I did remove it. Okay, can you hear me better? Yes. There you go. Now we can hear you loud and clear. You want to role play? Sure. Okay, start from the top. Say ring, ring when you're ready. So ring, ring. Hello? Yes, good morning. And I need to speak with a person responsible with the merchant account. And who would that be? Um, quick one, can it mark, um, <clears throat> mute the other one, mute the other, the other system that you have, because you have two on, on the call, correct? Pardon? I can you see have, two IDs, yeah. Yes, you have two yeah. IDs, correct? To mute one and leave one open. Use the one that you're talking to us through open and mute the other one. Wait. Perfect. Go again, Kenneth. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So, hello, this is Ken with Digital Payment. And um, who am I speaking to? <clears throat> you're speaking with Joe. Thank you, Joe. And hope you're doing great. And yes, my company requests that I contact you personally. And I appreciate you taking my call. Due to the global situation, we are contacting businesses to reduce your weights and fees by 25 to 40 percent. Our goal is to help put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. So there mean exactly how much we can save you. I need to ask just a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Sure. So uh, just to confirm, you are indeed the one look after the merchant account for the business yes great so who are you currently crossing with chase chase great and when they send you a statement do you send it to online or to the mail both <laughs> cool so that can uh, i add more information in your hand what is your email it would be tim at gmail.com. Tim at gmail.com. And thank you for sharing the information with me. And I would like to connect you to one of the rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate 40% of your rate fee. And would that be all right with you? Yes. Cool. Hello, this is Ken, and I do have Mr. Tim on the line with contact number 12345, and currently using um, Chase processor. He received their statements via online and mail, and would like to save money on their merchant services. Can you take it from here? Certainly. Great. So I will sit on the call right now. Thank you. Okay. So good job, guys. Um, Here's, I have a gift for you guys. Um, I'm not 100% sure what happened just now. I'm not 100% I'm not sure if it's a sales or a transfer. So I'm going to try to play it for you guys and so you guys can hear it, okay? Okay. Hi, good morning. I'd like, I'd like to speak to Bill Carter. I'll wait for the connect my call. Thank you. Hi, Bill. How are you doing this morning? Good. Wonderful. I'm Tamara with Digitech Payment, and my company has requested that I contact you personally, and I appreciate you taking my call. You're with, what, what? You're with I'm with Digitech 
you just take payment. Okay, yeah. The purpose of my call today, Bill, is due to the global situation that we're trying to face in, we at City Tech are reaching out to businesses to help them to reduce rates and fees by 25 to 40 percent. Our goal really is to help you put money back into your business to use when things return to normal. Now to determine exactly how much we can save you, I need to ask you just a couple quick questions, if you don't mind. Sure. You are indeed the person that looks after the merchant account for the business? I am. And who are you currently processing with? We're currently paying uh, processing first data. First data? Uh -huh. And when you receive your mail, your statements, do you receive them online or through the mail? Uh, now, okay. So I can have some more information in your hand. Bill, what's your email address? It's Bill Carter. Bill Carter. And 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 a is Apple, I is Linux, B is Ball, N is Linux. Okay. Dot com. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to get yes, the I'd like to give me some information on your rate. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll look at it. Okay, I'd like to connect you to one of our rate specialists who has the ability to eliminate forty percent of your rate just here. Would that be okay with you? Sure. Yep. One moment, please. Now, how has this been affecting you, Bill? With the pandemic and all that. So, guys, she she just did this, and uh, if you guys remember, she was on the call with us earlier. Um, now, as you can see, she's doing a transfer. But while she's doing a transfer, she's talking to Bill to keep Bill occupied. In the meantime, does that make sense? So you don't just let leave him because you you know to do a transfer, you have to make another call out. So she she's literally talking to Bill. Listen, guys. So you see the rate specialist came online and he's quiet in the background, yeah, because she and Bill is talking. Does that make sense, guys? So Bill, what what Tamar is doing here is just you know keeping Bill smooth going. So Bill is just not there lingering around waiting to find out when this transfer is about to take place. So let's finish up. Yes, I'm getting you connected right now. Okay, so I guess um, the rate question doesn't pick up. So basically, <laughs> basically what she's gonna do is let them know that you know someone from rate special has been calling back. But do you guys? She literally just did this, and that's a transfer for her. She asked all four questions, and for Bill, it was okay to transfer him over. Now, as you could see, the heat mail was was a struggle for her a minute ago, but. You know, because it's a weird, you know, it's a long email. <clears throat> Carter. So his name is Bill Car Carter, right? That's what he said. I think that's what he said for his email. <clears throat> yeah, that's Bill Carter. Yeah. So, you know, his email would probably be like B I L L and Carter would be like C A R T E R, something like that. So, <clears throat> you know, at gmail.com. But he has some other words in between. So it's good to ask. Yeah, it's, exactly. yeah, it's good it's to different. ask. It's very different. Yeah, it is very different. So it's good to ask exactly what it is to, to go across the board. But yeah, she just did that um, a few minutes ago, I guess. So, <clears throat> you know, because we're here talking and she's there doing that, I just decided to play her so you guys can hear exactly what she's doing because I'm actually, <clears throat> I'm over here talking to you guys, but I'm actually over here. You know, listen. You know, looking to what looking at what they're doing, not listening, but looking at what they're doing. <coughs> Does that make sense to everyone? Yes. 
Yeah, all right. So you guys just listened to a live transfer just happened just now. Um, any questions, guys? Uh, sir, I just have a question. Sure. Uh, like what we heard now, uh, the rate specialist is not answering the call, right? So uh, do we schedule a call back for the customer or? No. So, so here's what we know for sure that happened to these rate specialists. It's only a handful of rate specialists. Um, we need to, you know, get on Jody about that because he need to get more rate specialists. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so okay. It's only a handful. The, the more of we, you know, the more we get risk, uh, rate specialists, the the pay you know pay for you goes down. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so yes. <laughs> so not to worry, not, not to worry. If, if if there is any any issues, I'll, I'll come to that when the training is over. When we go to the dialer training. Okay. After this, then you know I'll I'll give all uh, the rebuttals to what to do when you are not uh, getting through to the specialists. Okay. And you will be given a form uh, wherein you need to submit the data, and I'll be here to pick it up from there. In case, yes. so, if for example, yeah, in case if for example on, you you transfer, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. So, yeah. Okay, let me. So to answer oh, your question, yeah, you finish first. What yeah. Jody is, is it's um, it's very simple. <laughs> in that case, where you couldn't get a hold of the rate specialist. You don't want to keep the customer waiting for too long. Does that make sense to you? So it's very easy to explain to the customer. I am going to go ahead and let one of our rate specialists reach back out to you in the next couple of minutes. Would that be okay? You know what I mean? So you're just going to go ahead and you know, let, let the decision maker go. Joe Deep was saying that he's going to give you a form. Now, one of our rates, one of our customer here again is um, it's literally in the middle of the transfer again, um, as I'm looking at over here. But that's for later. Um, but um, as I was saying, guys, Jody is going to give you guys a form. That's, that's what he's talking about. You're going to fill that form out. Send it to Jody. Um, I know. We make problems for Jody, which is good. Send it to Jody. <laughs> and Jody will um, get on those rate specialists. And, you know, so Jody's going to get mad at you. he get mad at the rate specialists. Call these people back. <laughs> <laughs> And and they will they will make the call back. So it's 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 better Jody get mad at the rate specialist than that you. So yeah, if you try to call the rate specialist and it's not going through, no problem. Just you know, hand the call. Don't worry about that. Just let the the customer know that the rate specialist is going to reach back out to you. Reach back out to them. Does that make sense for everyone? Yes. Any more questions, guys? Um, sir, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, sir, um, if the first question was answered by yes and the other three was not able to answer, it's still valid transfer. Correct. Once you once you ask your, your once you ask your questions, right, Jody? Right. Yes. So once you uh, you, you know, Jody part of right specialist. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one who responds to them. He's the one who responds to them. So I like to verify some stuff with him before I um I push the, the boundary. Um but yeah, once you transfer once you go ahead and transfer them, it is considered once you ask all four questions, it is considered a successful transfer once you transfer them over. Even if you go to transfer them over and the rate specialist that you picked up as I said, Jody have a form for you guys to fill out. He's gonna send it to you know to all all everyone that you know where you guys can fill that form out and then you know send it back to Jody. So you know for for those questions that wasn't answered, no problem. Just put n slash a n slash a. So that way Jody know exactly that they didn't answer the question. So Jody when Jody you know give it to them, he can you know they understand as well that they didn't answer the question, so they know to ask those questions. So and what do we? What we need to confirm is they are the decision maker, right? Correct. So that's the main thing because, um, like, I've seen this before with us, you know, with my team, you know, you know, my team over here, I've seen this before with them, where one, they were talking to the decision maker, not the decision maker, they're talking to a normal person, and they went through an entire script with the person, I went down and they asked the first question, so you are indeed the one who looks after the merchant account for the business, the person was like, no, that's actually someone else, you know. I was just curious. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the reason why he got it like that was because, one, he never really started off the right way. 
in the conversation. And that that you know, Joe Deep know who that is. That's um that's Gums. And he never really started off the right way, but yeah, he learned from that. And you know, I mean when he when he's there doing hit now, he learns so he don't even have problems anymore. But yeah, you do need to all you know, you have to ask if they are the decision maker. If they're not the decision maker, you cannot really go to you know, you cannot really um <clears throat> take it another step forward. You cannot really ask the other three questions. Yeah. And we before you as well. Correct. And before you even ask the first question, it's very important that you ask them, is it okay with you? You know I mean, um, if you don't mind, where it's if you don't mind, that's very important. Because if they said no, you cannot ask the questions. A person said no, you know, ask them what are some of their reasons. What, what do you want to ask the questions? There's a button for this. Um, that rib button is, is called busy and um, I'm not interested. Those rib buttons, you want to use those rib buttons. Um, <coughs> what are some of your issues? We'll let you know. And they probably, most of them have issues like they already locked into a contract and they don't want to break that bond because they don't want to get that fee. You know, they don't want to get charged for that fee. And then there's a rib button for that as well where you explain to them that there's a, a 60 to 90 day process. You know what I mean? So they, they have nothing to worry about. Um, there's a few people said there's a pandemic going on outside. My company's broke, I'm running broke. We cannot really do that right now. There's a, there's a, uh, um, a rebuttal for that to explain that here. Yeah, I understand there's a pandemic, of course. Everyone knows a pandemic. I mean, even a, a two-year-old kid knows there's a pandemic going on outside. Um, so, yeah, you explain to them, yeah, I do understand there's a pandemic going on outside because there's a rebuttal for that. And then you explain to them, we're not trying to sell you anything. We're just trying to save you money and your merchant account because you are paying for your merchant account. Regardless, there's a pandemic going on outside. You're still paying it, paying for it. And then that point, you're like, okay, I understand. And you get to ask your questions, okay? So it's very important that you actually study those rebuttals. So that way, because the more you know your rebuttals, I would say the more transfer you're going to get done. Every yes. yes, correct. Yeah, if you know, if you know, if you know four rebuttals and they ask you questions and those questions are not about those four rebuttals, you're not going to get that transfer done. Sorry. It's not because, you know, um, you, can't, you don't know how to respond. You're not able to respond to the person you're supposed to, the way you're supposed to. <clears throat> um, sir, after this, are we going to have some training as well on the tools that we're going to use? On the rebuttal? Yeah. On the tools, like on the dialer? On the dialer. Yes. yes. Yeah, so Joe Deep is going to be the one to work to show you guys the dialer, right, Joe Deep? Yes, uh, the IT is ready. Once it is done, they will uh, I'll add the IT guys and they will do it. Okay, so yeah, so yeah. Jodeep, Jodeep is going to be helping out with a dialer. Um, if you guys need help with rebuttal, feel free to reach out to Jodeep after you study, after all of you guys study rebuttal. If you guys think that you need more help, just feel free to reach out to Jodeep. Jodeep will reach out to me and um, we can schedule another meet and um, we can go through it real quick. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, but that way, that way you will know your rebuttal better. So that way you'll be able to answer the question that, that's, you know, that we ask. <clears throat> All right, any, any questions? Any more questions, guys? Uh, Shamal, uh, Mark One team has questions. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, all right. Um, I yeah, yeah. just want to clarify with regards to the, the qualified transfer. They're, they're quite confused with that. So as you mentioned earlier, that uh, even if uh, as long as we we get uh, we ask the questions, the four questions that are needed uh, to uh, transfer the call, if, even if the, um, uh, the the decision maker did not give the email address or does, does not wish to provide the um, merchant name. As long as we transfer the call, that's a qualified transfer, right? No. <clears throat> so, no. No. So, you're going to make life hard for everyone now. The question you just asked, you just make life harder for everyone. Because everyone. <laughs> so, here's how it goes. Um, how it goes. So, first, for example, you said you are indeed the one who responds for a merchant account, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, who are you currently processing with? Say, said you don't want to say. You know, just don't give me the rest of the answers, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who are you going to process them with? 
I'm sorry, say again? Who are you currently processing with? Just say you wish not to say. Uh -huh. I'm asking you a question, you need to give me an answer. Just say you wish not to say. So you're not going to tell me who they are. You're just not going to tell, you're just going to say, I wish not to say. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. so I'm not going, uh, if I'm the decision maker, I'm not going to give the information. So uh, Yes, you, you are, right now you are the decision maker and I am the client. Okay, I'm, I'm the one who called. So <clears throat> you are indeed the one who's responsible for the merchant account for the business, correct? Yes. Okay, and when they send you your statement, sorry, and who are you currently processing with? Uh, I wish not to say. And when they send you your statement, how do you receive it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, don't worry. Um, so I can have some more information in your hands. What is your email? Uh, brown at gmail.com. No, don't tell me your email. Tell me okay. if you don't remember. All right. I wish not to say. Okay. Um, no problem. <clears throat> no, thanks for sharing all that information with me. I would like to go ahead and connect you to one of our great specialists who have the ability the ability to eliminate 40% of your fees, your rates and fees. Would that be okay with you? I, uh, okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so how is everything going with you? How is the pandemic affecting, affecting you guys? This is just me small this is just me taking small talk with you, you know, <clears throat> while I'm transferring you. And um so Albert, um if you don't mind me, what position do you hold at the company? Are you the owner? I'm the vice president of the company. Oh, so you are the vice president. That's a big role right there, man. <laughs> um yes, Albert, do you mind hold for a quick second? So Here's me talking to the right specialist now. Um, <clears throat> I have you online with me, Halbert. <coughs> I have you online with me, Halbert. Um, for his, listen, this is how it works now, Albert. <coughs> for his provide for his processor, he wished not to say how he received his statement. He also wished not to say I didn't get any, e I didn't receive any email from him. Um, but he would also like to save money on his. He would li also like to save money in his merchant account. Can you take it from here? So now. This is me explaining to the rate specialist that you didn't give me those three answers, okay? Okay. But I did verify with you that you were the one who was responsible for the merchant account, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you and you want to save money and you, you want to save that 40% of your merchant account. That's the reason why you tell me to transfer you, correct? Connect you, right? Okay. Correct? Mm -hmm. Albert? Yes, yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I just want to make sure we're on. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. You know, I know we're not in the same room, but I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Does that make sense to you? What I just said? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that so that is considered a successful transfer, even though. Uh, okay. You so not, if, if he does not, I'm I'm sorry to get you there. So if he does not agree to sign up or to save money or what to do with our company, this means means to say that it is not a successful transfer, even if it's actually transferred by the agent to uh, the specialist, right? <laughs> well. <clears throat> Our job is to transfer them over mm. to the rate specialist. Now, if the rate specialist is the one who blew, blew it over there, why should we pay for the rate specialist problem? <laughs> you know I mean, our job is to transfer them over to the rate specialist. Right? Okay. Right, Jody? Right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, so they, if, they, if yeah, they don't... I just want to... Uh, just like a few, uh, a few things here. <coughs> Now, uh, they, they must ask the question. It's not that they skip the questions. If they're getting out of four questions, yeah, after, after, after you know, out of four questions, if they're getting three no's, they, they, then they shouldn't avoid the fourth question. They should ask the fourth question. So you need yes. to, you're doing to complete your job. Your job is to ask all the questions. Whether they answer or not, doesn't matter. Yes, and if they correct. have to be transferred, one, one more very important thing is that they should agree to be transferred. Yes, so, right, as Jodeep said, one, they should agree to the transfer. Two, Hmm. I always tell everyone this number one question is very important because if he's not the decision maker, you don't want to be transferring that person. So if they don't answer to the, number, to the first questions, then you don't need to ask them the rest of the questions because you have to get an answer for if you know I mean, if Jody tell me he's, you know, Jody. Yes. Are you the one who responds for the merchant account for the business? Not exactly. Okay. Um, 
is it possible for you to tell me who's responsible for the for the merch channel account for the business? Yes, because. Okay, can you can you go ahead and direct me to that person? He's not in today. Okay, then I will set up a callback. When is the best time? Um, when is the best time to call back for them? Mm, you can try tomorrow ten. Um, at ten, you said. Ten in the morning, yeah. Okay, and what is that person's name? He is Vikas. I'm here. I'm here, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to speak. <laughs> that's not Vikas. That's not Vikas Palek. That's Vikas Gupta. <laughs> He's like, I'm here. Pass me the phone, Jody. I got it. <laughs> Jody always throw the bouncers, you know. <laughs> but yeah, guys, as you, see, as you can see, what I'm doing with Jody because Jody is not the one who's in charge for the for the merchant account. So as you can see, what I'm doing at this point is getting you know hold of the person who's in charge of the merchant account. So now I'm setting up a callback with Jody for tomorrow. To call just to talk to the person who's responsible for the merchant account. Now, if Joe Deep said he's the one who's responsible for the merchant account, and I asked that a three question and Joe Deep didn't answer it, no problem. I can still transfer it on. But because of the fact that he said he's not the one who's responsible for the merchant account, I cannot go and transfer Joe Deep over. That's not a successful transfer. Because now I'm going over here transferring Joe Deep. Here we go, Joe Deep transferred. And then the right special is asking Joe Deep questions about the merchant account, and they're like, I have no idea what a merchant account is. What is a merchant account? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but, but, yeah. <laughs> what? But, but, that, 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 yeah, that's the reason, you know, you need to first, at the very first place, you need to confirm. Otherwise, you walk through all the script and, you know, at the time of transfer, come to know it's not a decision maker. You are wasting your time. You're wasting your time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you always need to confirm that they are the one who's responsible for the merchant account. Um, <clears throat> before, before, and yeah, I'm really upset about this, Jody, because I'm gonna be honest with you, Jody. You remember when we <laughs> used to do um, two things we used to do before? One, if they don't have a merchant account, we used to set it up for them. Do you remember that? Uh, don't, don't have a merchant account then? <clears throat> yeah, when they, when they, you know, because some business that you call and if they don't have a merchant account, then we'd have them to set up a merchant account. Where, in that mm -hmm. point, yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. So that's yes. It, that way, guys, we used to skip the other two questions, like, you know, who are you currently processing with? And, um, and when they send you a statement, how do you see? We skip those two questions and just go ask them for the email because they don't have a merchant account. And then we will, direct, you know, connect them with a rate specialist and a rate specialist. We explain to the rate specialist if they don't have a merchant account, and the rate specialist will be the one to take it from there. But now we no longer do that. <clears throat> so we kind of cut that part out. So now, right there. now if a person said they don't have a merchant account, you need to tell them thanks for their time and, you know, get off. You can't even go any further there, too. So just so you guys know that, you know, <clears throat> for future reference, if the person on a merchant account, you need to get off a call. Because I think Jody still have a few, a few of those numbers running around. What is the practical role of the merchant account? Like you told who accepts debit and credit card, but what, what is it like? What, what role do that department play? Okay, so, all right, you know, for example, you go to the restaurant, right, or yeah. gas station, grocery store, wherever you go, you know what I mean, no one walks around cash anymore, right? Right. Now, when you swipe your card, you got that little thing that you used to, you know, you swipe your card in? Okay. That's what a merchant yes. is. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's an EDC, they call it EDC machine, so that's an uh, electronic data right. capturing machine, yeah. Right. That's so that's, easy, what, yeah. that's, what a, that's what a merchant is. So mm -hmm. the account is where that money goes to. So when you use the term merchant account, you're talking about that account. You're talking about that thing that you swipe your card in to the account. So we are a broker, a merchant broker. In other words, Digitech is like a bank. Because that's why I said you know any bank can be a merchant broker. Because you, want a mer you, you have a business. <clears throat> you, you're taking cash all day, every day. You decided that, hey, I want, you know, what if someone put on a credit card or debit card? I want to be able to accept payment from them. So you go to your bank and you say to your bank, hey, I would like a merchant account. And they would say, okay, cool. And they would, you know, give you that little, you know, today they have one called, you know, Snap, where you literally just put the thing on the top of your phone and swipe the card and it's good. So, it, which is weird. <laughs> but the merchant accounts, you know, the, the different type of merchants that people are using today is getting you know, different. There's one you walk up to, you, you, snap your, you, you slap your card in it, and you go on. 
There's some that you walk up, you don't even need to take your card out of your pocket anymore, and it automatically scan it for you. You know, you go and buy a grocery, you walk with your cart, go straight through the door, it scan your food in your cart and your and your wallet for you. Hey, okay. don't you have to pick up a receipt at the end of the door. But yeah, but those are different types of merchant accounts. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. All right, any more questions? Any more questions, guys? I believe there's no more questions there. For me. Okay. No more questions, yeah. All right, no more perfect. Questions. So that's it for me today. Guys, um, hope everyone learned something today. And, <clears throat> you know, Joe Deep is here. Feel free to reach out to Joe Deep. Yeah, yes, I'll be with him. Yeah, I'll be with him. Uh, log in to log out. Yeah. All right, guys. So, Jody, yep. I will be in touch with you later. <laughs> and sure, sure, sure. Day, everyone. Sure, sure. And, and, and Shama, thank you so much. It's been almost four, over four hours that uh, you've been speaking and, you know, taking care of it. Thank you so much, Shama. You're welcome, Jody. Thank All you. All right, you. everyone. Thank All right. Thank you. Thank you, Shama. Thank you, Shama. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, you stay back because... Uh, I'll now add. Uh... Hello, you guys can hear yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. 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 We will go ahead, and I'll, uh, I'll give you another ID. You need to stay there. I'll give you another ID, and we'll have twenty uh, at the moment. Twenty of them uh, would be logging to one dialer, and uh, let me check how many of them are here today. Um, so twenty-two. So 22 out of 22, me and Vikas out, so 20 we have, right? Vikas, you're there? Yes. Okay. So uh, what we'll do here is we'll uh, train the 20 for uh, dialer, uh, the, the dialer logins and uh, IDs, I'll give it to you uh, and you need to give it the POCs and POCs will further go ahead and give it to the agents. Now, uh, uh, you need to give me a list of people uh, who would be going into uh, uh, this dialer, today's dialer. And the rest of the people, uh, I'll put them tomorrow in, in a dialer. There'll be a training tomorrow for them. So what I'll do is you take a break. It's in four hours, you you know, you are here. So take a break for, say, what the time now? Um, is Eastern, we'll follow Eastern time. Okay, everyone should have uh, Eastern, uh, you know, Eastern time clock downloaded on the laptop or, you know, phone. Whatever, but we'll follow Eastern time uh, from now onwards. Uh, the login time is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right. Okay. Now it is uh, almost quarter to two. So we'll meet at two o'clock. 15 minutes break is enough, or you need a little longer break? A half an hour break? Maybe half an hour. That would be fine. Okay. Great. Half an hour break, then we'll meet at. Uh, 2 20 20 past 2 p.m. EST. Two twenty. Okay, all right. Yes, two twenty. All right, thanks. Thank you very much, Joy Day. You're welcome. You're welcome. We'll meet again. And, and India time. Uh, Joy Day, tomorrow be, yeah. when? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow when will it be? Tomorrow I'll let you know. Tomorrow I'll, I'll let you know what time it will be. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, WhatsApp you. What time it will exactly be? We'll try to some, do it somewhere around uh, 9 a.m. in the morning, 9 a.m. Uh, you know Eastern time. It'll be around 6:30 in uh, the evening India time. Okay. Okay. So Great. Philippines will be exactly 12 hours uh, ahead, I believe. If it is 9 a.m., it'll be 9 p.m. there. Yes. Right. right. Okay. okay. Yes. So what we'll do is uh, let's meet at two, uh, twenty past two, and then uh, from there we'll go ahead and uh, take the dialer training. I will also give you a form which you need to fill up. Okay, your POCs will give you uh, the, the links to the form. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Let's take a uh, break. Uh, let's take a break for uh, for for uh, thirty minutes. And please be in touch with uh, your POCs for the ID to log in back again. It'll be a different ID. It'll not be the same one. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.